man. Yeah. Wake up! It was a mystery. I mean, I've heard rumors. It might be time to drive in the sunset, champs. Breaking news. Wallahi. Wallahi. Welcome in, babies. <laughs> to another episode of the A-Raps podcast. Today we have, there's so much news this week. Dude, we got Dr. Disrespect. We got, we got Mr. Beast coming to Ava's rescue. We got Sneeko being horrible. I crossed in the middle of the beginning of this thing. That's great. Bleep it so we don't get demonetized. We don't want to get demonetized. Oh yeah, I did say it like five seconds into that's right video, bleep so. it all okay and we also got justin timberlake memes yes lots of them uh uh we'll start with the uh, biggest story i think of in of gaming and content creators of my lifetime the doctor disrespect story uh, Frogan is a secret fan. No, I'm not. <laughs> Frogan, every year for Halloween for the past seven years, has dressed up as Dr. No, Disrespect. When I first started streaming in 2021, I think I had a sub goal or something where I said, if I got to it, I will live stream as Dr. Disrespect on Halloween. Was he already banned at that point? Yeah. 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 You're, that's it. That's <laughs> Yeah. You're, you're a big fan. You're cooked. So you're a big fan of him, I and that's fucked up. I am not a 6'10 man with a mustache. But I was for Halloween. One year. Okay. All right. Okay. She's not 6'10". <laughs> okay. Sorry. I want to say something. Anyway, no, say it. No, no so, say it. Say it. Bro, you giving out the mustache rights. Am I right? Yo. No, dude. That one's... No. <laughs> that was bad. It was an intrusive thought. <laughs> Well, I get a high five from you. Though? Something about Frogan doing mustache rides, and you guys stop fucking thinking about it too. Stop it. But I Horrible. won't breathe manually. Breathe manually. <laughs> it's so fucked. Breathe manually. Why are you sick hiling right now? Yeah, no, I stop? wouldn't. That's stop. Fucked up. Stop. That's fucked up. We're gonna talk about like actual racist people in a second. Yeah, we are about to talk about racist people in a second. And okay. Capri. Yeah. No, they're not my friends. I was trying. I was get, waiting for a Stop high five. Stop doing that. I was waiting for a high five. Stop. We have a Jewish man right here. I know, but I'll, and somewhat right over here. And right here. I was waiting for a high five. Give him a high five so he doesn't. He wanted. He wanted one from you. That's your thing. No, I was looking for you. I was doing the. Okay, I'm just gonna start. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to do it. I'm just trying to. You're doing it again. I'm literally trying. Well, you're just saying how tall Doctor Disrespect was. No, you know? stop! Don't do that. Here, I'm doing it. I'm not doing it as a bid. I'm not bidding. I'm yeah, doing... he's really racist. <laughs> <laughs> it's very third Reiki of you right now. It's kind of. <laughs> Gotta do the voice. I'm not doing the. You wore your cool new Palestinian shirt, and you're like, I'm gonna oppress on somebody else today. God damn. <laughs> it's over. Remember for me. oppression? Remember how cool that was? Uh, anyway, tell me about Dr. Disrespect, dude. Okay, so uh, I did a little background on him as a person. Yeah. So if people don't know who Dr. Disrespect is, this is the biggest like mystery in gaming ever, okay? So I'm just going to give you a little bit of background, and then I'll, we'll bring you up to speed with what's going on. And then I'll, we'll, do, we'll talk about our personal stuff. But first, Dr. Disrespect, he worked at a uh, – he, he was a community manager at Sledgehammer Games. Yeah. I think they worked, they worked on COD. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, Scoot may know. Sledgehammer, what did they work on? It was a gaming thing, gaming company. Oh, they did not work on COD. I forgot. So he was he was a community manager for Sledgehammer Games. He quits in 2015 to focus on streaming full time. Okay. So he basically was one of the, he, the, he started at like 33, which is a crazy age to start streaming. That is crazy. That's was he your inspiration? That's when, <laughs> that's when you started. I'm 21. Are you, well, how tall are you? 6'2". How tall is this? Six, like nine. He's, He's like 6'10". Like six, 6'10". Six, six, ten. <sighs> Scared yeah, me for a yeah, second. Can we get a fact check on his height? It's very important. Doctor? Yeah. 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 Okay. So uh, also worked on Call of Duty. Call they of did Duty. They? Yeah. See? Since Modern Warfare 3. There you go. I thought Infinity was, was Call of Duty and then it was there Activision. There was a bunch of different. They kind of, really support dev. Got it. Cool. My bad then. Sorry. I know we have to apologize for misinformation that we have here now. Yeah. Well, on this one, we're going to get hit yeah, with the dog And fans. I don't think dogs are they, should be sentient, sentient, I think every by Call of the way. Since Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> Uh, but I, I don't know. So okay, all those so, good Call of Duty ones. So he gets fit, <laughs> he he goes live on Twitch, which at the time was Justin TV. Yeah, and his whole shtick was that he played a character. We'll put it up here, like right here or somewhere, and he would look like someone from the '80s. He wears the mustache. He puts on the '80s wig. He's got like the '80s vest, and he's just like acting like a douche 
like 80s Bond villain. That's the best way to describe it, right? Sure. Frogan has something to say. Yeah, she loves him, so she takes offense <laughs> to what you're saying right yeah. now. His music slaps for his stream. Okay. Right I know. Stop. It was an That's accident. So zoom in on that. Yeah. Can you zoom in on that? Yeah. So his music does slap. He's got great 80s music. Yeah. Play was, a sample. Play a sample. Uh, uh, Before we get into that, why is a bad person? It's going to get us demonetized. We're going to get demonetized. Instantly. Especially him. He has. But it goes something like this. Do, do, do. No, Dr. D, Dr. D, Dr. D. No, it's like it's like 80s like synth wave. Like, that's yeah, why that motherfucker loves it. Yeah. It's like 80s synth I'm not going to lie. I did have his song on my Spotify. And I forgot it was on there. And then we were driving last night and it came up naturally. And I was like, oh, no, I got to take this off. Anyways, so uh, what first uh, he got famous, he played a lot of VR games, Battle Royale. Uh, but his first like big scandal that I remember, because this was before my time. Mm -hmm. Okay. He got banned, I think, before I even got onto Twitch. I think he was banned before I was on Twitch. But the first big scandal is that he cheated on his wife and it became like the biggest meme. Stupid fucking mistakes, man. He, it became the biggest meme, and Frogan's quoting it, on uh, Twitch. So we're giving you the backstory, and everyone would, like, quote this as a meme. It was, like, the thing. So we're going to show a little bit of the video right now. But it gets really juicy and spicy in a second. Hold on. I don't think I like juicy, spicy things. Yeah, I, okay, just sorry, overall. sorry. Like, it, just, it gets, it gets, it's not get, good. It just gets hot, sorry, spicy. I, no, it's really gross. It's the, the allegations are bad, but we're just going to start with this. Look how young he looks. Isn't the music so good though? For like stream yes. music? Uh, it is. That's not a Dr. Disrespect. That's, Th this is that's, him without the character. That's that's it's him without the character. I think his name is Beam. Raul. His name is Beam, I think. Beam? It's like it's like a, I think his name is like Guy Beam or some shit like Beam. that. Guy Beam? I think so. That's is that just when you it's, shoot cum out of your out of yourself? The guy beam. <laughs> you really wanna You really wanna go with never mind. Who the fuck names a never mind? Kind of a, Guy a Beam. Little of, a little bit of an announcement. Um and I just want to be <laughs> fake sniffle is crazy. Completely transparent with you guys. Uh Did he get a big know, head? I have a, a beautiful family and a wife and kid. And um got a wife, got a kid. I want to be He's a horrible and actor. I've been unfaithful. He's been unfaithful. I don't know why it's lagging. And Hold on, pause it. Is it the are you using the right HDMI like the old one or the new one? No, it's just it's the it's something up with the computer. So so he's a so what he's doing is he's fake apologizing. Yeah, he got well, caught cheating on his wife at TwitchCon, I believe, or some shit, right? So he got caught cheating on his wife on TwitchCon. Okay, so that Dude, was TwitchCon the, is the place where everybody gets caught. Doing so that was shit. the first that was the first big thing, and he's like stupid fucking. You mistakes. need to show the stupid fucking mistakes, man. Yeah. So he basically announces to his community like stupid fucking mistakes. Hold on, I'll show you. <laughs> I don't know why it's lagging. Draftster is going to have to cut it. Okay. Stupid oh, fucking is. mistakes, man. <sighs> I'm going to take time off to focus on my family. and. I don't think cheating is ever a mistake. You have to be cognizant so, for the most part. You know what I just mean? I wanted to let you guys know that. And I apologize to you guys. And Slick Daddy, you guys are... I don't know who Slick Daddy is, but I think it was the name of his community. His name, the name of his community, are the Champions Club. Yeah, but I think back then it was the original name. I think that that's what it was. Or maybe Slick Daddy is just his actual dad. But he's just saying, "What's up to his friend, Slick Daddy?" No, that's Raph. Slick Daddy. Am I Slick Daddy? So anyway, so he apologizes to his wife. Sorry that this is lagging. I don't know what's going on with my computer. Uh, and then he, uh, that becomes the uh, that becomes the meme, and he. He's still streaming on Twitch. Yeah. Uh, people make fun of him. This is like, this is well, well back in the day. Like, I think f the only person who was ever streaming this that, around that time maybe is Frogan. Were you streaming when he did that? I was on Twitch when it happened. I was like in the community. Where you weren't a streamer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then, so then the next part is that randomly he gets banned off of Twitch uh, in 2020 of June. His final moments, which it's an eight minute video, we're gonna have drafts or just cut up the most important parts and just like lay it here. I sure. think that's probably the best way to do it. I was watching that doc documentary on, uh, what's this guy? Uh, Ike, Ike, 
I see KE. Older gentleman. David Ike. Yes, I like him. Even if like it's it's like it just kind of you know. Rather than this, it's on Netflix. I believe it's on Netflix. Or is it Amazon? It's one of the two. It's either Amazon or Netflix. Little documentary on him. It's pretty enlightening. All it allows you to do is just sort of like, you know, allows you to step outside of the box just a little bit. Whether some of the stuff is not true or not, whatever. I think the whole, the whole goal, though, is to wake up! I actually bought the, uh, Mrs. Assassin. Bought the book, actually, not me. I shouldn't take the credit. No, David Ike. I'll be no bad. No. I ordered his book too. No yeah, I want to be it. No bad. Oh, the backyard. Uh, the backyard. Oh, okay. Okay, who's it? I appreciate everyone who's watching today. Who's it in the backyard. Who is going to be looking? We'll, tough. we'll we get. Really, like I said, we don't really know some of the. Yeah, we'll get through this Champions Club. Uh, it's, yeah, I, I know it's a tough. That's because I don't know this one well. Life's weird yeah, right now. Yeah, I. Oh. We'll, oh, it did, it did, it did. we'll get through this, okay? And uh Hey Christopher. Dun dun dun. You better not taunt me. Oh there you go. <laughs> Fuck. You get to try <laughs> he pulls out his cell phone. He starts looking at some text message. Then he invokes David Ike. Who do you guys know who David Ike is? No, who's David Ike? Super anti Semitic. You would love him. Uh and he is a, the guy who does the New World Order shit. And he's like, uh, he does 5G, gives you coronavirus. Why would I love him if he's anti-Semitic? Oh, Jewish. he it's loved Shungai. I forgot it. He got Shungai around Mikasa. Yeah. Shungai is the rock that would block the 5G so you didn't get COVID. <laughs> yeah, he, that, was a, that was a meme when COVID happened. He literally, he would talk about having Shungai around his house. What the hell? I forgot about that. Yeah. So, he, yeah. so, so... so, so he so invokes this guy. What do you mean by that? He he's been like talking about David Icke for a while, leading up to it. He was like an anti vax I think he was an anti COVID guy, anti vaxxer sure. So he's leading up to this. Uh, before he gets banned, he's like talking about shungite and it's a rock. He's a crystal mommy, basically. So he starts like putting these rocks around his house to get rid of five G. Starts invoking David Icke. He says in the video, uh, which was clipped that we definitely all saw right now, is that his wife was like reading his books. David Icke is like a New World Order conspiracy theories. He's like on the lines of Alex Jones, but also very, very racist. Yeah. And, and I think he's in the UK. And um, he's got a whole like laundry list of horrible takes. Okay? Sure, sure. One of them is the 5G. Okay. So like it, listening to David Icke is insane. It's just like, that's that's the end of the game. So he does that. And then he's like invokes David Icke. He basically at the end goes, we're going to get through this Champions Club. Obviously you saw the video. And then he gets banned. And nobody says anything about why he gets banned. Like, at all. He just gets banned permanently. The only... Dr. Disrespect gets banned. Yes, Dr. Disrespect gets he just, banned. Because I do remember he, he was on the platform, and then I remember he just wasn't anymore. But nobody knew why. Yeah. And it was a mystery. It's been four years. Nothing has come out. It was a mystery. Okay, we're going to talk a little bit more, all, all, you know. Allegedly. Yeah, some people said... Some people speculated that it was just like he didn't have a contract anymore. Some people speculated that he was, you know, doing contracts somewhere else. Some, uh, so it was, there was a lot of different speculation as to why there was something that he was doing a competing uh, competitor app to Twitch. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. They were like, he got banned because he tried like finessing Twitch with a larger contract, something like that. I remember because hearing that because he was trying to get like to like another streaming service, like yeah. Facebook or something. Yeah, that was the main rumor going around. There was a lot of rumors swirling around. Uh, there was that. There was, uh, what was the other one? Like uh, here, here's, here's the, the main, the main thing that came out when he got banned. Someone, I believe a reporter, uh, tweeted, which was the most infamous tweet of the most infamous tweet about his banning was like, I can confirm that Dr. Disrespect is indeed done, not just on Twitch. I know why. And I cannot say, but this is serious. Oh, sla was it? Sla oh, was it, it was Shan Shannon Z killer. Okay. Who's that? I think she was a reporter that was working on the story. Okay. I believe. Um, I tried to click on this. It's good if you can confirm that. Is Shannon a reporter working on the story, I believe? I, I have, I've never heard of this tweet before. Oh, it's the big one, dude. It was like... No, the big one is the slasher. Yeah, it's a slasher. Slasher one is also one. another one. The slasher, slasher one was... One. Slasher said... When did this tweet come out? Tw June 26, 26 2020, 2020, when he got banned. When he got banned. Yeah. Okay. So I've been in touch with staff. We've all known Twitch staff. Nobody knew. Um, I... 
I mean, I've heard yeah. rumors. I heard rumors. I heard well. rumors. Uh, you guys probably heard the rumors from from me. <laughs> from you, I've heard. <laughs> I heard, heard it from a different from, person. I've heard it from other people who are in the uh, Twitch I, economy. I, yeah. I've heard from multiple staff. Um, there was a couple things that I've heard from staff. And the, the main one was that, um, and people and and journalists working on the story. The yeah. main one was that Twitch at the time that this all happened was shut down internally. And every like lawyers ran in. They said it was the weirdest day they ever had the job. These are like people who don't work at Twitch anymore. Right. And they said like lawyers came in and they're like, turn your computers off. This is a rumor. Again, don't sue me. This is what I've these heard. Are these are rumors. Just, uh, these are allegations. Allegations. I didn't hear it from anyone specific. And we're not revealing our sources either. And if you depo me, <laughs> I'm going to say I don't remember because I don't remember. I don't remember either. I don't remember who told me. I heard this from journalists who heard this from journalists who heard this from journalists. Anyways. So I guess like at Twitch that day, yeah, they like shut down their computers, like lawyers walk through, which is really weird. And they were like, everyone like, stop what you're doing. But you got to remember at the time, Dr. Disrespect was the guy. Mm -hmm. He was Twitch. He was the big, I think he has like one of the records for like the biggest stream. So at the time, like, I guess the staff were like shut down. Everyone had to stop what they're doing. And then he was banned and nobody knows why, but it was like, Nobody is was allowed to communicate in the office is right. what I heard. That was the rumor. That's not even a rumor. I think that was confirmed, but they said it was the weirdest day they ever had at work. Like I've never heard of a company like throw lawyers in. Lawyers are not the FBI. They don't just walk through your office right. like, hey, stop what you're doing. Or freeze. Better business bureau just walking in. <laughs> yeah. Freeze or you get deposed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm about to subpoena the shit out of you, you talk. I'm gonna subpoena your ass. <laughs> Raps about the draft one. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, I'll learn how to make subpoenas just for this. Yeah, I know. So, anyways, uh, basically, um, Zach tweeted about it. Zach Bussy is also a reporter on Twitch, a friend of a uh, friend of mine, in front of the, this uh, you know episode or what episode show. This episode is sponsored by Zach Bussy. <laughs> Uh, he said uh, official Twitch statement. We'll put his, we'll put his handle right here. At, uh, Twitch basically says, as is our process, we take appropriate action when we have evidence that a streamer has acted in violations of our community guidelines or terms of service. These applies to all streamers, regardless of the status or prominence in the community. So he was banned off of Twitch. He also was banned off of, um, I think at the time he was also banned off of other plats. I think Discord for sure he was banned. Yeah. I don't know if he was banned anywhere else. No, he wasn't banned on YouTube. And um, but he was banned. I think he was mostly he's mostly streaming. He was banned off Discord, Scoot. He was he banned off Discord. Yeah, his Discord server was shut off. He was a partner with Discord, and he got he got it taken down. So, and this is recent, or that was when he first got banned off Twitch. That was like the same time. Everything happened at the same time. It was like a blackout. But like what I'm saying is that in the office at Twitch, people were just like, like it was like the weirdest. Wait, if he got banned in 2020, they weren't there because COVID. June 2020, that's like peak COVID, right? Yeah. Then maybe it was just on the computer. Maybe it's that's the rumor I heard. June 2020. No, no, that's no, when they were back in the that's office. That's when they're back in the office. Yeah. No, but they weren't they weren't fully back. People went back to the office in t- June. That's too soon after April, May, June. That was like three months into the pandemic. People were no, that's not, that's let's not see. right. Let's see. The main pandemic that could be a was bullshit rumor. March 13th. That could be a bullshit rumor. Mm-hmm. I think we just figured out a bullshit rumor. We debunked it. That's it. He's doctor suspect is a good guy. Maybe I use my degree once in a while. Jesus. But I know that for sure that everyone was like blacked out. Like they were like not allowed to rumor. I just put rumor about the office at Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> what came up? <laughs> when All the layoffs. Twitch yeah. Go back into the office. Even with your glasses, you can't read from here. No, it's too small. Uh, I'm oh. going to confirm that rumor. At, I'm going to confirm that rumor from the the anonymous source I had it from after this podcast and then we'll put a thumbs Black up. Black screen right here. Yeah. Boop if it's confirmed or not. Okay. So so the next question is um, so then that basically happens. Twitch doesn't say and everyone now is speculating that it could be aliens. It could be anything. <laughs> Why did Dr. Disrespect get banned? Nobody knows. Um, leading until it goes radio silent for four years. And then an ex Twitch employee. Well, not super radio silent because Doctor Disrespect was still operating. Oh, sorry, you're right. Doctor Disrespect then goes to YouTube. He stays on YouTube for a long time. Yeah. He makes gets about four or five million subs on YouTube. Does mm-hmm. a great job. Builds his whole audience up. Uh, and then on YouTube, uh, essentially, um, he 
just keeps complaining about Twitch, taking shade, and at the process, he's going through litigation with Twitch. Yeah. He finally settles the litigation, and we'll put the tweet up here with the infamous, like, it's like a little pen. It's going to be right above Frogan's. It's going to be on Frogan's face. Um, oh, thank wow. you, Frogan, for being the tweet. Wow. But he basically says that the uh, no parties acknowledge any wrongdoing. We're going our own ways, basically, and... Uh, there hasn't been any. Uh, that's what role Dr. Role. D says. That's right? what he says. Yeah. Okay. However, that's not really anything. He just says that. Laser. Like, he basically says he gets banned off Twitch. He then does a lawsuit with Twitch for being banned. And okay. then he says, no party acknowledges any wrongdoing. You walk away. Mm -hmm. I know that that's, that's not the best. That that's a, basically him and Twitch settle, but he, but it still doesn't come out why he got banned. Right. And the thing is, if you know anything about, law or litigation at all if and any family member you know has been in a legal case you could ask a lawyer in your area that is a very weird way to end a case yeah. it usually means that um you know there's there's you're settling it halfway through you're going to walk away but if someone says like we're just going to not like if i was settling a case you can you can draft a case settlement however you want right why wouldn't you say well i want to tell people why i was banned yeah. You know, because people are going to speculate. You can draft that settlement however. So why would so why would Twitch and him both hide the reason he was banned? Right. It in my head, it has to be very sensitive. It has to be extremely sensitive. So I thought before I even heard the rumors, it's got to be something with a with a child or a minor or something yeah. like that. Be, or like uh an essay allegation or something serious because you wouldn't hide because why would you if let's say he got banned because he was trying to work another deal? Why would Twitch want to hide that? Why would he want to hide that? Right. What is what is the NDA? Why are there NDAs around? Well, yeah, that? what's the reason for Twitch wanting them? Who cares? Yeah, what's the well, NDA yeah, like, saying? What, again, like, why, why would you need to... Everybody knows the reason why they're banned. Like, why would you NDA the reason you're banned? Right. Because it's going to make your brand look weird. Yeah. Everyone's going to question it. Frogan went viral for one time tweeting at Dr. Dis Disrespect and saying, why were you banned? Dude, yeah, I forgot about that until I, it started going... Like, my mentions were popping off yesterday. Yeah. So... After his ban on Twitch, he started like being like transphobic, homophobic. All right, yeah, I remember that. Um, and then I quote retweeted one of his tweets where he was being a shithead. I was like, "Why were you banned on Twitch?" It had like twelve thousand likes. Yeah, and I forgot I even did that. Wow, until That's sixteen thousand now, buddy. It's at sixteen thousand. Do you know why? I was looking for research for this, and that tweet came up, and I'm like, "This is fucking old." I remember when this when this was happening. Damn. So I got like four thousand since yesterday. That's so, crazy. Mm. Uh, anyway. Scoot had a really good tweet that came out oh, too. Oh yeah, talk about Scoot's tweet real quick while I pull it. Yeah, wait, talk about it after the allegation. Yeah, that makes sense. The, the timeline is is yeah. okay. Up. So, anyways, so true. So basically, nobody knows why he's banned. Uh, they they both admit they're like, oh, we have some wrongdoing or whatever. And but, but, no, the, I, but after like a not even a year, people are just don't give a shit. They I care. care. Everybody wants to know. Don't you want to know? I mean, I want. I wanted to know, but like to be honest, it was not on the precipice of my mind. I kind of forgot about yeah, it. Yeah, people just move on. You know. Can I be because honest? Because after you? that, you saw like a string of other people getting kind of banned, and then like leaving the platform and taking other deals with other mm -hmm. streaming platforms. I mean, like Ludwig is a big one who like left pretty much to get a bit better deal at YouTube. Yeah. You know, and then you had other people and I was like, oh, in my head, I'm thinking, oh, OK, so he he's out. He's just out. He's just is doing a mm -hmm. different thing. Yeah, you're right. Because it was like Ludwig, Ray, mm -hmm. um, Lily, Pichu. Mm -hmm. And then like some people like Ninja and Shroud, I want to say. Yeah. That got deals. Like, yeah. People were just leaving and nobody really thought otherwise. Like you were saying, it was just basically just like we were at an era on the Internet in the streamer world where people that everyone were shifting. Yeah. Nobody was like focusing primarily on Twitch anymore. Yeah. You think this is a small side tangent. You think Twitch is dying right now? Yeah. Streaming. Um, Before we get into the allegations. Actually, I have a different take, but I'll let you go first. Um, yes and no. I think that Twitch is still the biggest streaming platform. If not for Twitch, it's also YouTube is a very close second. I think it's not necessarily anywhere close to being dead yet, but I do think a lot of the decisions that they're making is attributing to the fact that it's dying. Viewership itself is going down on Twitch because most people are on YouTube throughout the day anyways. Mm -hmm. So we're not like everyone's not cooped in looking for any kind of entertainment and just picking different various forms of entertainment. You know, most people throughout the day now only have one form of entertainment, whether that's like Netflix, Hulu, 
HBO, Peacock, or YouTube, yeah. or Twitch. You yeah. know, most people are at this point where they're just deciding on one thing that they watch. What yeah. I was going to say, I do agree, but I feel like Twitch popped off during COVID and people were like seeking the parasocial yeah. relationships that came with watching streamers. Yeah. And that's why like so many people popped off during that time, especially during like the Among Us thing, because mm -hmm. you're watching friend groups, you couldn't see your friend group and they were like living. Yeah. COVID's not over, but we're in a time where it practically doesn't exist anymore. So people are going outside, people are leaving their houses. Like society is practically back to normal and we don't have to be in our houses, on our phones, on our computers mm -hmm. as much as we had to rely on it back in like 2020, 2021. Yeah. So I think more people are just finding themselves. So I don't think it's dying at all. I don't think it's dying. I think, oh, I think it is. I think the viewership is slowly dying just mm -hmm. because of there's no commotion. Yeah. There's not enough commotion. I, I just think, yeah, personally, I think that it's just... To be honest, the only person yeah. making commotion on Twitch right now is Kai. I agree. Yeah. The only person making Twitch I think that the Twitch Jinxie, the right Jinxie now is and... Uh, uh, but they're not on Queso. Twitch. K Queso, Jinxie, and uh, what's the other one? They're not on Twitch, are they? Yeah, yeah. they are. Sketch. They're Sketch. On Twitch. Oh, yeah, are they? they? Yeah, they're the new... 100,000 average. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, no, gotcha, they're killing gotcha. it. They're killing yeah, they're, it. I mean, if it wasn't for them, I think the platform itself They're would like be, the new blood. They're the new content. I mean, even D is not on there. Not Dr. D, but the other D. Yeah. You know why he got banned? He got banned, yeah. For saying that BLM protesters deserve to get like run over or some shit. <laughs> Did you hear that? Allegedly. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is that the reason he got banned? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Advocating that's, for violence. That's not that crazy to get. I mean, perma -band? It's pretty crazy. It's a really crazy thing to say. I mean, it, it must have been like the last straw. It was like a build up. Like he was yeah, still was like going say. through his harassment. And yeah. Tirades. I feel like, you know. Anyways, so next one. Um, yeah, the harassment's crazy. Anyways, so the the next thing is that uh, uh, recently a Twitch, an ex Twitch employee, um, comes out and says, in a subtweet, says he got banned because he got caught sexting a minor in a then existing Twitch Whispers product. He was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon. The powers that be could read it in plain text. Case closed. Gang. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, but it's just like, why the fuck would you do that over Whispers? Can I tell you what I, what I think Twitch? Sorry, it's weird. It's weird to do it it's over weird. Whisper. It's weird. If, to it do was, it over if it's real, this is a lad, this is an allegation. This is it's all a, allegations. We don't allegedly. know if it's real. We're just, allegedly, this is just we're reporting I mean, we heard on the news. Of, we heard about it for years now from other sources, okay. but it's I, allegedly. I've heard about it from multiple Twitch staff that it had to do with the minor. Yeah. Okay. I have the heard. extent of it. We don't know. Okay. So again, I when I hear rumors, I yeah. never believe it until I see it. But also, the dude was doing transphobic crap from day one right and just being like just just like transphobic homophobic racist and also putting crystals in his asshole so he doesn't get 5g covid I mean, right 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 okay the dude is dumb uh, taking colloidal he's dumb silver. as the rocks he's fucking buying yeah Doug. he's as dumb <laughs> as the rocks he's buying <laughs> bro if any, he's dumb if as you a rock pay for a rock if you buy a rock you fucking stupid well now, hold on a second now because sometimes rocks are fucking cool dude what kind Geodes? You know the kinds. You know the geodes are sick. Dude. Yeah. You know the kinds where like you throw them and they're like magnets. Those are sick. Those are just magnets. Though. No, 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 dude. Those are rocks. <laughs> that I, are used to, I used to have a crystal they collection. Go, they sound you like were cicadas. Crystal mommy. I used to. You still have crystals. Let's I be don't. honest. You don't have a Himalayan salt thing. No, I do not. The but you want it. Yo, we should make them go to a Himalayan salt room because allegedly it helps with anxiety. It doesn't. Can Whoa, I? Oh, that's actually a good idea. There's crazy studies about <laughs> ionizing the air, and it does actually work if you go to a waterfall. But a salt lamp doesn't. A salt room. A salt room doesn't do enough. You really need something big. Go to the Dead Sea. Okay, I'll do it. Ooh, what's the? What are those like pods called? Like the zero gravity ones? No, I don't want to do that because I think people come in that. Ooh. Don't they wash it clean? I just the think water? about it. I'm sure they clean Man, it, stop, but like dude, you're gonna make me puke, Doug. But let's so think about it. Like, there's people going in these tank sensory deprivation just, tanks. Oh yeah, you think thank some you. fucking freak is not just like touching themselves in there? Do they? Have you know what I mean? Like, I just don't trust it, dude. Like, if we go, we'll go. But I have to ask him. Like, how how clean is? This? <laughs> I thought you were gonna be, I thought you were, I thought you were gonna be like, if we go, I'll go. But I'm gonna have to jerk off. Well, I mean, <laughs> I didn't want to say that for the internet to hear it. But yeah, I'm gonna yeah. do it. I mean, what else is there to do in a box with nothing else? Sensory, to go how, you how just sensory like laying down, like floating. Yeah, just my. Just, yeah, yeah. Like, people act like they get in that shit. It's like the Matrix. Like, yeah. <laughs> 
They just enter a room. Well, you they had sex in the Matrix too, so why wouldn't they have it in a sensory deprivation? Okay, tank? We went we went from like the, no, the but I'll, but the severity of the allegations to like this fucking. Anyways, yeah, let's, let's go back to this. We have a very serious topic. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean. So, it. anyways, you got. So this tweet. So comes this is out. a subtweet, and then Zach Bussy compo- uh, does a compilation of we'll all the people right here. who are explaining it. Um, he's got another tweet. Uh, so this this individual was actually very up there. He was eight years like he was strategic partnerships, I believe. He's, I mean, he's he's up there at Twitch. Wow. I mean, this isn't like someone who's small at Twitch. Another person, uh, Nathan Grayson, without revealing anything else in order to protect sources, I can say that this isn't the first time I've heard this. Basically, this explanation, nor is the second, nor the third. So these are people who are working on saying the like story. They, yeah, pretty much saying like what we said. Like it's not the first time they've heard this. It's not the first time. I mean, I've had other streamers text me and be like, I've heard it. Everyone's yeah. heard it. It's almost like yeah. one person tweeted. They're like, oh, if this is such a close secret, why weren't people talking about it or open secret? They were. You just didn't have the tea, honey. You just didn't have the sources. Well, nah, also, and, and also, like, who's, it's a child involved. Like, yeah, you know, <laughs> I, think you took the wrong, I think you took the wrong approach, yeah, dude, dude. You're just a fan yeah. of deep respect, dude. I'm not a fan. Of, what is this? Okay, I'm shutting this down. What? I never was a fan of Dr. Disrespect, nor did I ever think he was hot. I mean, no one said that <laughs> yeah, last part. You, no one said that you last part. Added that. You added that I, last I, part. I added that because I'm gonna I'm cutting the rumors off before they start. <laughs> you, you, that's a weird way to answer that. That's weird. That's wild that you just threw that out there. Why would you because do that? I didn't you put that to... on at the end for, for what? Hey, no man, one said hey, that. Man, I never liked that, Dr. Disrespect, and I never thought Raph was fuckable. Yeah. It's weird, dude. <laughs> why would you... Also, why'd you equivocate me to Dr. Disrespect? I don't... Is it because of the gravity I'm just thing? getting in front of the allegations. <laughs> the before <post-word>. before. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. It was Ralph. It's the same person. Oh, man. But yeah, I know. I don't know who it was. I just saw it. Like, uh, there's so much shit on my timeline, dude. Mr. Beast is involved in this, too. Little Jimmy. Get him out. Get it. Get it. Get Jimmy. Out. Jimmy. Look, get him out. Your mouth. Don't What's Jimmy short that. for? Jimmy? Yeah. He has Crohn's. In depression. That's okay. Anyways. Keep that one in. So the sound you hear is, yeah, I would have depression, too, if my entire life was building fucking videos. At some point, he should just be like, this is not that fun. I already made a billion. She just whispered to me how the hot does a doctor suspect <laughs> No, was. I didn't. She said, I want those almonds bad. <laughs> Did you think about those almonds? Yeah, dude. What I'm, almonds? My the, chocolate the, ones? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Chocolate almonds. I, I, took a, I took a little snacky before we walked in. I was like, fuck, those are good. Dude, we're getting food after this before you guys go see a movie. Okay, so anyways, let me... Huh? Are you not coming? No, I need to sp- take some space away from you guys. You said you were going to come. <laughs> No, I'm not gonna come. Don't say it like that. You said you were gonna come to the movie. So okay, I so, don't want to go to the damn movie, Scooby. No, you need this to learn about emotions. I don't. I don't. That's not how emotions work. They don't have little guys in your head that go. Ooh. I that's. Think I think that's Give true. Give me an almond now. Fuck, man. I'm gonna be eating almonds. I bought the Anyways, right. I bought the right snack. It's the most air shit of all time. I bought the right snack. My mom bought me a Palestine shirt too. Anyways, I thought you bought that by yourself. No, she bought me a new one too. Um. Another person said the sound you hear is dozens of reporters tweeting. I worked on this story for years, and he just tweeted it out. So a lot of people are working on the same story. Cody coming out of journalism retirement with the biggest story in gaming in the past few years. I'm so glad we are the yeah, uh, we at ESPN never acquiesced to Doctor Disrespect's PR people's bullshit by giving him a softball interview. Oh, I got interviewed by him. Oh, you did. Um, so these are all journalists. Wait, what was that last one about the ESPN thing? Basically, he, I don't know. I don't know. It's something about a softball interview. I think that they were probably grilling him or something. I don't know. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. I'm not going to talk on something. I don't know. This is the former account director of strategic partnerships at Twitch claiming to reveal why Doc was banned at long last. And yeah. And, and it's, yeah. Uh, also, Zach Diaz, who's a uh, very uh, good friend of the show. I love him. He's awesome. Fucking love Zach. Zach basically said, I'm so glad it's finally out, but didn't say who it was or anything. Right. Said, I'm so glad it's finally out. He worked at Twitch as well. So a bunch of staff are coming out. Also, DJ Wheat. Uh, so Slasher, uh, who was the original one that Scooters was talking about, the tweet, the meme tweet mm-hmm. about, I know the thing, but I have like, I don't have the heart. I'm not touching the story anymore. Uh, basically, Slasher tweets, I didn't lie. And then D- DJ Wheat, who's also big at Twitch, says respect. So there's like, right now we have like 10 staff. Minimum, and I've heard from staff outside Not of this. outright saying yes, but basically saying yes. Mm-hmm. That's what happened. Mm-hmm. So that's where Wait. it's at. Hanging out in solidarity with them. Mm-hmm. 
what? How long do NDAs last for? Um, they can last for uh, how? Five years. Yeah, or as long as you want. How long do you think the ones at Twitch lasted? I would have, if I was the lawyer at Twitch, I would have made that shit last forever. Yeah, but I would have. I don't think their NDA is broken, and I'll tell you why. Okay, they're wait. Not, they're not. When did, it, when did this come it. out? When did this come out? Today. Today. Oh, oh. Do you think it's four years from the date? Mm-hmm. Because June twentieth, he got banned. Holy shit! Wait, 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 wait! wait, wait. No, didn't this come out the twentieth? Yeah, no, the 20th. or the twenty-first. Oh, yeah, the twentieth. Yeah, that's the. Yeah, but they wouldn't have they signed they... the NDA that day. Yeah, they would have. If it Why? was that serious. Oh, maybe the rumors that I heard about them shutting down the office were true. And then they sent out and said, "Hey, you all need to sign this NDA before." Speculation. We're speculating. We're speculating. Draft your but it, it makes a lot of sense. Yes! But I'm just saying, dude. Look at look at me being legal. That was smart. I know. Oh my god! For once in my goddamn life, don't say that. You're well, that it makes part. sense though. Does that's so crazy? It's crazy yeah. that because it just kind of because they were subtweeting. But why did they subtweet? Was it like was it prop probably because what I think provoked is that even if the NDA does expire, if it did expire, if there is an NDA and it did expire, you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to put yourself out there. I don't think it expired personally. It could be. You know, but if it did expire, then you don't want to put yourself, you don't want to put yourself in the line of litigation. Why would you want to do that? You That's know, because fair. calling someone a like live like that is like, it's a problem. Also bleep that because it's going to get suppressed. Um, so doctor, what do you say? doctor, here's the issue with what, what say? Cody, what if you say none of them, please bleep them all. It what if you say, what if you say draped? What if you say Schneider? Yeah, you, I don't like that. I don't that, like that one. Don't that, like one felt bad. that one felt bad. That one felt yeah. bad. Okay. Anyways, Drake. So the next thing is that there is there is one problem with this guy who tweeted it out. Yeah, he was tweeting some really weird shit. This I'm happy this you brought this me up. Off. You showed me this. You showed me this today. This kind of ruins the 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 whatever you want to call it. The announcement, I guess. Yeah, it ruins it. Yeah. Basically, the guy who uh, announces it or leaks it says. Listen, if all these three dates sell out for like they're banned, uh, if it all leaks out, we'll explain why. If like we, pay, if oh, sorry, if all of our tickets sell out for my private, like his band, we'll leak why Doctor Disrespect was banned at, at the a venue, which I think is just that's shit behavior. That's gross. It's really, gross. I think that's gross because if it is like because then you're using this for your own personal, you're using game. a minor for your personal. Yeah, game. that's terrible. It's awful. And so, like, you know, that's fucking disgusting. Just like I in the Twitch world, like everyone's a piece of shit. Yeah, dude. I just, I, that's horrible. If yeah. you come to my show, I'll tell you what happened to this person. I'll give you the information that you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're. that's horrible. It's not good. I hope his band fucking fails, to be honest. I bet it's a shitty band. Yeah. I'm down to shit on this person for, for doing this. This is fucking awful. This is really gross. I don't like it. I think it's bad. Say what you say, and then that's it. Just leave it at that. Don't then. don't link. Don't do that. Yeah, because you know? like, now it makes it seem like oh, you're saying this thing. If I knew to like, get traction, so people go buy your show tickets. If I knew something that like I knew about it, what if I was tweeting it about it? Be like, I'll do it on stream or use it for clout. Yeah, exactly. You know, like oh, I got this secret. I mean, if that was the case, we would have talked about this when we first heard about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean. So it's just it's it's and again it's, and it's, that's and disgusting behavior. The reason why we're talking about it now is because people who are who had. You know, people who say this is not evidence, I want you to understand something, okay? When you walk into uh, any situation that's like a courtroom situation, right, you'll have someone there who's literally a witness, and that is evidence. Witnesses are evidence. So when you're saying this is not evidence, this is a firsthand witness. Witnesses are someone eyes, see, smell, sound. They yeah. can perceive it. So this person is, I saw it. I saw it. I am a witness. That is evidence. Now, doctor has to rebuke that evidence and say that didn't happen. Right. And his response is the most legally. This is where it made me feel like, nah, dude, you did it. Like, yeah. You're caught, bro. It's, it's over. He basically said. What did he say? He, his response was like, no wrongdoing. Hold on. This is the, I'm bouncing around to the wrong spot. Um, What did he say, Capri? I'm sorry, dude. My, my What did he fucking say? Dude, my computer is broken and it's bouncing everywhere. Just give me a second. Can I just say, every time you wear shorts, I just have the urge to just, like, slap your well, knee. Well, don't do that. I'm not. I or never I, have. But can't. seeing it from my peripheral, I just want to go, like... Don't touch my legs. So he responds with, 
Jake, Jake reports on it and he goes, Jake, seriously, I get it. It's a hot topic, but this has been settled. No wrongdoing was acknowledged and they paid the whole contract. Bro, but that's not what anyone's saying. That's not what anybody's saying. And also, yeah, no one's saying, oh, did they pay you? Yeah, no one is asking He's that. Like, well, who's, who's going around and be like, yeah, got that bag though still after, after doing something crazy like that. He's now, probably like, oh, if I actually diddled a minor, then. Why would they I, pay me? Yeah. He did the Drake meme. Yeah, but you know what's crazy is if you have good lawyers, you can get whatever you want, essentially. Yeah, no wrongdoing was acknowledged. I think that if if this was not, this is my perception. If this was not at all something that was litigated, why wouldn't he not be able to say no? Right. Right? Yes. If this isn't something that was litigated whatsoever, why would he not be able to say, no, that didn't happen? You're saying if it was litigated, oh, you mean like him not him saying no? If, was if you got banned off Twitch for something totally different and someone goes, you got banned because it was a minor, you're like, no, that didn't happen. Yeah. That's not breaching your NDA. Yeah. At all. Why would that have to be the NDA? Twitch is like, don't say anything about what happened with it. Like, uh-uh, something doesn't smell right. So then he like further goes on to tweet. I think it was like Keemstar that responded to him and we'll put the tweet up. I'm looking for it right now. Oh, no. But Keemstar basically said like Keem basically goes, dude, like click, say you didn't yeah, click say, replies. say it differently. Huh? Click replies. Yeah. You can't. Can you see what's going on on my screen? How it's flickering. Every time I go to OBS, it flickers. So Keem, Keem's all like, hey. You said we'll, we'll bring up the keem start what, what a great way to say that you you did it yeah. right basically so yeah so then this gets crazier so he's basically he he goes on and he does another tweet where he says okay like he basically people are like you didn't address it and then he he goes on to he do gives another legal response gives another legal response which is did he delete it or something yeah i'm looking for it did he delete it i think he deleted it do you oh, think that, or was it in responding? Do you think to our Jake? friend Vio put the cameo under? Oh, listen, I'm obviously tied to legal obligations from the settlement with Twitch, but I just need to say what I can can say because this is the fucking internet. I didn't any, do anything wrong. All this has been probed and settled. Nothing illegal. No wrongdoing was uh, was found, and I was paid. Which I uh, think is a wild thing to say. He's probably like, if I actually breach the terms and why services of Twitch, me? why would they pay me? But then why would they ban you? It's like the Drake meme, dude. Yeah, it's exactly what it is. It's like it's like if I was actually like, would I believe it? If I was I'd actually, a, I'd be. What, would I play this song at my concert that says that I am? I'm gonna ask you a question was, right now. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna have to believe this drafter. Are you? No. Good answer. Thank you. Simple as that, brother. It's too far. Um. <laughs> your allegation. Fuck you. Fuck you. No. Did you notice how he said, didn't say, mm. I'm not a pedophile? I was angry at first. Mm. This is why you should watch Inside Out 2. <laughs> you really need to figure my, out how to work how my these anger emotions. took over. Uh, so the second one was drama alert. Then, oh, sorry. I, I'm skipping ahead. Nick Merckx, who I'm blocked. Classic Capri. I'm blocked from Nick Merckx. Why are you blocked from Nick Merckx? Because I made him gay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know that's like actually circulating on the internet? It's like perma stuck. What? The, the picture of it. Oh, really? Yeah. It's people who use it against him every time he tweets now. He's from Dearborn. <laughs> now he's gay. Yeah. Nick Marks. He's honorary Arab. He's not anymore. Don't say he that. sounds like the type of Arab, like, I'm not gay. <laughs> there is no way I could be gay. If I would be gay, I could. How would could I, I, would I be able to do something dick like this and not be aroused? Nothing, dude. <laughs> dude, what? This is a serious thing we're talking. Okay, about. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is very serious. It's hard because it's serious, but I'm not. I, I'm blocked. How am I supposed to watch this? I think I have to watch it on Casey Trons. Probably. <laughs> so what did he do? Give me the what? What did he do? So Nick Burks then drops a. <laughs> You're a pervert, you know that? <laughs> you're you're a sick pervert. You're a sick pervert. I type in Casey Tron and then it comes up with You a, are a sick pervert. It comes up with a dude's ass. What happened? Look. It's just a dude's naked ass. I can't see what happened. Go back to it. Look what you did. I'm not going to do that. I'm going out of it. Anyways, I didn't get it, Scoot. I'm I sorry. can't believe Bio got this. We're going to have to cover that in a second. 
So Casey Tron basically drops the video, uh, downloads it because I was unable to see it. But Nick Merck's response, which at this point, here's the deal. If you believed your friend, yeah, I would just tweet like, yo, that's like there's no proof. If it is, if it is real, then um, you know, I would like actually think about my response. Right. Okay. This the severity of the allegations. Sorry, we're joking and stuff. It's just because I feel like it's I'm I feel more lighthearted about it because there, we don't know if it's a hundred thousand percent, but I feel like it's a hundred a hundred thousand percent, yeah. you know. Yes. I, I don't know. And it's also just like these guys are such assholes, like it's hard. So, anyways, so um Nick Merck's response to Dr. Disrespect's allegations with this video. But what's insane about this video is he's like, the first thing he does is attack trans people. <laughs> Did you see this? No. You haven't seen this? Uh -uh. No, I haven't Did you see that I made either. it gay and it went viral? Yeah, I'm sorry. You made this gay? I, I make everything he does gay, brother. Great. He's gay now. Great. Okay, here we go. Uh, look, I open Twitter. Can you pause it for a second? Bunch of mom mentions her. She's going to insult him. You're ready. How'd you know? I can just, whenever you want us to pause it, just from looking at yeah, him, it's an yeah, insult yeah. usually. Yeah. Let's hear it. What are you gonna say? What are you gonna say? He looks like don't he's know? about to be like, "Hey, yeah, bro, wallahi, yeah. let's go smoke <laughs> yeah. some hookah he at Nava Lounge in the airport." You know what fucking pisses me off is he says "wallahi habibi" to people on Twitter because he's he lived in Dearborn. Like his dad was like, I'm pretty sure his dad was the football coach at one of the biggest high schools in Dearborn. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Where the fuck is he on Palestine then? Where the fuck has this little bitch been on Palestine? He thinks fucking Palestine silent. is gay. He's more. <laughs> 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 You're like, I see all those gay people with Palestinians. All right, let's play this. <laughs> yo, yo, checking in. Uh, look, I open Twitter. <sighs> Bunch of mom mentions are he, they, she, she, hey, they fucking I, I identify as a helicopter. God damn it. Uh, Worst video ever. Watch. And I seen I seen the, the couple tweets about the dock. It just starts raining. I, I'm. <laughs> I'm as taken back as a lot of you guys are, okay? But the fact remains that these are some crazy accusations. Crazy. Big time accusations. And until we know more, until we know them as fact, until they've been proven with evidence, what are we talking about? What's anybody talking about? Now, as far as the leave little kids alone stuff. Edited video? This doesn't make it any further from the truth. Leave little children out of your shit. Have a nice day. You know what's funny, and everyone's saying this, is he's like, leave little kids out of your shit to gay people and trans people, but to Dr. Disrespect, who's literally accused of this, he's like, we don't know anything about it, you yeah. know? Because it's his buddy, you know what I mean? Watching, his friend. watching this made me miss Trainwrecks TV. Why? <laughs> Why? They just have the same, like, cadence. Oh. Well, so <laughs> oh, did you make it? <laughs> I made him gay. <laughs> Get wrecked, nerd. I made him gay. So I added his pronouns: protect trans kids. Everyone's saying Check that he's uh, he's avoiding the flag. Uh, look, I open Twitter. He's like running away from it. Watch, you'll see. Bunch of mom mentions are he, they, she, she, hey, they. Fucking, <laughs> I, I identify as a helicopter. God damn it! <laughs> uh, and I see, I seen the. A couple tweets about it's so much better, gay, right? It's a much more enjoyable I, video. I wish he blocked you for this instead of the original one. The original Give one. it to me and I'll send it. Everyone's it's just been turn. using it to send it to him. Uh, he's not, he likes it though. He's he protect the trans kids. So, anyways, thank you. Uh, I uh, so he does that, and then Ava, who was formerly known as uh, I'm saying no, I don't want any, thank you. Uh, formerly known as Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast. Um, she tweets the video and says, hold on, let me see. She tweets, this is how, this is I how think you had it up already. I did. It just, my computer's glitching on my end. Sorry. Okay. So she tweets the video. She tweets the video of, uh, Nick Merckx. Uh huh. And then, um, says every time I post on Twitter forward slash POS. Okay. Piece of shit. Positive. I think. I don't know what that means. I don't know tone indicators. Okay, so essentially Nick Merck's response, which wait, I what, wait, what clip does she include in it? Just this. It's three seconds. Just he, it's they, she, she, hey, they, my matches are. He, they, she, she, hey, they, my matches are. So then he responds to her 
and says, and we'll do the drama alert one because that's the only one I could see because he blocked me. Okay. Um, he basically says, he says you left your family. And you and became trans. And you became trans and you left your kid and you're a POS. What a fucking freak. And um oh I can see it on the TV. Um hold on. Sorry, dude. My, uh, you can't see it on my end. My entire computer is glitching. It's because I'm recording the screen for the podcast. Wait, Jeffrey Dahmer and Ariana Grande? Yo, that what? Can you scroll for two seconds? What, what is that? that? What, what, what are you was it about? Where? What are you talking about? What does that say? Jeffrey Dahmer's Ariana Grande's dream dinner guest and she gets backlash. <laughs> I don't know, dude. People are insane, dog. I don't know. I, 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 I'm sorry, but if Is you're... Ariana Grande's dream dinner guest. Dead or alive, who would you love to have dinner with? She said fucking Jeffrey Dahmer. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny. He wouldn't eat her. Okay. Yeah, so she'd be safe. Exactly. Yeah. So... And they'd have a nice steak dinner. So Mr. Beast basically responds. Nick says, you're leaving your family. Okay. Here's the original one. And says, you should be ashamed of yourself leaving behind your wife and child to play pretend one day you'll wake up and realize you're, what you've done. Right. Playing which pretend. Is really, That's which crazy. Which is insane for a grown man who plays video games and his other friend to dress up, who plays dress up. Doesn't Nick Merckx also just yell at his wife all the time? Yeah, he's a bitch to- Oh my God, I'll never forget the clip. She was talking about her beautiful garden yeah, she yeah, yeah, built. Yeah. And he's like... I don't give a fuck. Yeah, if you guys don't remember that clip, it was a clip of Nick Merckx. His wife calls him while he's streaming, and she's, like, talking about how excited she is about this garden that she's making. She's like, look, I have, I'm doing this. I'm doing X, Y, Z. I went here to get that. And he's like, I don't give a fuck to her over the phone. And then he hangs up. He's like, you see, this is the shit you deal with when you're married. Can I be honest? What? I've seen too many married people do that as a bit, so I didn't know if that was a bit or not when I saw it. I was like, ah, I don't, I don't know. It comments. seems serious. I like to think that it's serious because he's a piece it of shit. It seemed like a marriage bitch. It felt like a bit. It. Yeah, it was yeah. a bit. I'll be honest. Like, I'm not going to defend Nick Merckx. Don't make me. But right now, I'm. It seems like him. you're doing it right now. I, on that one, Merckx, man. regardless, the, regardless, it made me. It made me so cringe. then Nick Merckx responds, and then Mr. Beast Jimmy gets involved and says, "Because it's bullshit, dude. Can I be honest? Ava's taking so much shit. Yeah. Okay." Also, Miles loved Ava. She's a, she's she a was sweetheart. So nice she was her. such a sweetheart, and my dog loved Ava, and that's all I got to say. If Miles likes you, we're good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So anyways, uh, Ava is literally... He likes both of you. Miles eats you, the shit out of You Rogan. are mean to Miles, but he loves you. I Do you boundaries. see when Miles and me interact? He's like, all right, and then he just lays down. No, I'm saying Miles loves all of us. He tries to take her hijab off. Yeah, he's just trying to free her from Islam. Oh. <laughs> That's a joke Whoa. for all my Muslim people. It's a joke. It's a joke. Do you see, though, when Miles and I interact, he's like, all right, dude, I'm chilling. He, yeah. sub- he submits. Yeah, oh, he I'm knows he's, he's Palestinian. He's like, I'm not fucking with this Israeli ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm he's, Israeli. Like, he's like, I'm in this. Place. He's like, I'm in this cage. You went to birth. He's like, I smell birthright on you. It's that salt from the Dead Sea it doesn't leave your skin, dude. My mom did it. She smelled weird ever since. Yeah, told you. Anyway, someone smells good right now. It's the fucking nuts in your mouth. Someone, someone smells well, good hey now. No, I, I've been getting a whiff of it. I don't know who it is. Scooters' burger. I'm wearing Versace right now. So um, it probably is you then. Yeah, you smell good. Uh, oh, I'm also wearing cologne. I forgot. I sprayed this and then I didn't do What'd it. You wear, what are you wearing? Uh, what's the... the br- 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 oh, the vanilla thing? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so... And Mr. Beast responds. getting mad right now. Why? And she's like, why do men smell like vanilla? Tell me how you're a man and you smell like yeah, vanilla. Yeah, you, tw- you tweeted that shit, right? <laughs> Tell me how like you're a man, you have a big pee-pee, and you smell like vanilla. Can I be honest? You subtweeted our asses. You're a fucking asshole. He, he doesn't like vanilla. wear vanilla. He, wear vanilla. he smells good all the you time. You were subtweeting me? No, uh, I yeah, well, she, no, was it wasn't him. I remember I the story. Smell like vanilla. Yeah. yeah. You're something so poor or scootish? I'll own it. Hey, let me tell vanilla's you. Vanilla's nice. Hey, let me tell you. Imagine me going to the uh, the ATM and I get a whiff of a seemingly nice smelling perfume. I look over to my left. It's an Arab man. Okay. You thought I was a woman. Is that what you're Yeah. And I'm like, why are you as a man? Smelling that, smelling like a woman. Whenever, whenever can I, be I, honest, can I be shut honest? up, no, listen. I'm, I'm going to say something very important. Nah, I don't know. I need his honesty right now. I thought that Nick Merckx was transphobic, but I think the call is coming from inside the <laughs> shut house. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, here's the thing. Men's, men's cologne.
colognes. You have to say no. You haven't denied it. No, I'm not transphobic. <laughs> Thank you. Men's colognes, the ones I like, are the ones that smell like manly. Yeah. Like, yeah. What's uh, manly blood, smell like? You fucking blood. transphobic. Dragons. <laughs> yeah. Sul sulfur. <laughs> yeah, I want you to. S <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. I feel like it's very hard to find a bad smelling man men's cologne. I was, was going to say, I can find plenty of bad smelling men. Like, no, bad smelling men, yes. But like, men's cologne, for the most part, I feel mostly smell really good. But there are ones that are just like. What do you think Dr. Disrespect smells like? Cigarettes. Disappointment. Dr. Disappointment. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Beast gets involved and says Ava was, is literally with her kid. Wait. So this is him calling uh, Ava out, saying yeah, that Nick you're not Marsh with your calling kid. Ava out now. Okay. And then Mr. Beast goes, dude, stop. Like, Ava's with her kid all the time. She doesn't go to shoots. She spends more time with him. Tuck is the man. He's always smiling, not sure what the rumor is. So basically they're saying because she's trans... She's not providing she's not a good parent, for her child. Which I'm going to be honest, his brain don't work. Do I say he's not a good dad? Okay, if me and him, were, should, he get a, should he get a higher education? Should he be a doctor to be a good dad? Or does, does his kids want to look up to a video game player? Should he be an astronaut? Yeah, it's a cheap let's love. Move, let's, let's, do the, let's move the bar. Motherfucker, what's your level of education? Yeah. Why are you not getting a, a high? Why don't you have a doctorate? Make your kids look up to you, you fucking loser. Yeah, You're exactly. sitting at home playing video games, and you think your kids are going to grow up to be something amazing? Why don't you... Imagine we use that same line, line of logic. Exactly. I don't, I don't think that way, but that's what I'm saying. Okay, then, then Ava responds that they want to villainize trans people when they realize and accept that I'm in his life, arguably more than most parents are. They, they'll be. They say I'll ruin, ruin him or far worse things. They don't actually care. They just want goalposts so they can see trans people as bad. Right. It's just... It's transphobia. So now they got Mr. Beast pissed off, Okay. When Mr. Beast responds, that's how you know that shit's real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they pissed off Jimmy, dude. He didn't. Yeah. Jimmy. Jimmy's too busy going to Africa and saving kids and making people not blind anymore to be dealing with any of this Twitter shit. So when you get him out of that to respond to something, Jimmy, he's and the th hero we need. Is never mind. What were you gonna say? You know exactly what I was gonna say. I didn't know what you're gonna Crohn's say. Jimmy. Mute this. I was gonna say, is Jimmy gonna rebuild Gaza? That's not bad. You can say that. Jimmy, rebuild Gaza for Jimmy, me. Jimmy, I, I took a hundred Gazans and I rebuilt I their homes. I can say it. Jimmy, I have a lot of people in Gaza that need houses rebuilt. I built houses in Gaza. To be honest, if and when you know this whole genocide kind of subsides, I can I can see him going there and rebuilding. Yeah, I can. I can too. To also, be honest. Ava has been having free Palestine. Yeah, yeah. all the time. Yeah. So Ava's I mean, sure, I'm sure they're all on the Mr. Same Beast's side. entire crew. They're based. He like Tarek, the cameraman icon. Yeah, yeah. Carl. I'm pretty Carl's sure. Carl's awesome too. Carl's very nice. He's so nice. He's very nice. Uh, so Sneeko. So basically, Sneeko now gets involved. So if you don't know who Sneeko is, another content creator who's just awful. His his greatest hits are where did uh, so I don't even understand like the whole like uprise of Sneeko. He just came in out of nowhere. He was actually so Sneeko started with Mr. Beast. They started making vi oh. videos together back in the day, and he was in a Mr. Beast video. When he made the Lego car and drove it around, Sneeko yeah. was in that video. He was the one driving the car. So they were friends and they made like, I mean, I don't know how close, but they made videos and Sneeko was always kind of a creator's creator. P creators watched him, but he never popped off. Right. So he was kind of like me, you know, mm -hmm. like just not a big creator, but a lot of creators knew who he was. And then the only way he popped off was he started to do the grifting stuff. Like he would like attach himself to someone. Uh, there's a whole, there's a whole like line of information there, but that's how he made his, his fame is that grifted started doing, he, he started off when he was a kid, he was doing left wing, left wing politics. Now he's doing right wing politics, right. but like Nazi shit, not even right wing politics, like Nazi shit, like trans women. He's like doing the grifting, like Andrew Tate grift. Now he's saying he's Muslim. Then he says he's this, he just, yeah. whatever, whatever he's going to get views. So Sneeko just sees this, sees this as a story. He wants to get involved to, to, to leech. And and basically goes. Sneeko doesn't see Jimmy. Uh, Sneeko basically says that I I don't know what happened, but he got himself involved. Ava responds with Sneeko doesn't see Jimmy putting wells in Africa, helping the blind see and the deaf hear, as saving lives. Only when Jimmy says trans bad, he'll actually have made a difference in the world. Sneeko then responds. To Sneeko. Huh? 
Too Sneeko. Too Sneeko. Too Sneeko. Ava said that. So then Sneeko responds, if you want to pretend to be a woman, do it off camera. Don't be selfish. Don't damage Jimmy's philanthropic reputation. Don't continue a generation of children by celebrating puberty blockers and genital mutu mutilate mutilation. Sorry. Right. Um, Mad Jimmy kept the T word and word? not your sorry ass. I'm not going to say it. On I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Okay. I don't want to get. you look sad about that? Because I, I want to say it really bad. Part two. Part two. And then Sneeko goes, I became my own man. You leached off uh, one and still failed. And then Ava responds, I know you know I have skin in the company, meaning that Ava owns a portion of Mr. Beast's company. So right. Ava's fucking rich. So you're lying to make yourself feel better. I helped found it, which Ava was. Jimmy and, and Ava started the, the, the channel basically together. Yeah, like Jimmy the, started and Ava was the first person to work on it. Yeah. So being your own man isn't uh, sucking off grifters. Have a great time in the 10 years when you're only remembered for being a racist. <laughs> Dude, she One. fucking ate. Winner. She yeah. fucking ate. Winner. Call yeah. Ava right now. Yeah. Call Ava right now. Oh, I don't have my phone with me. You, you don't have your phone with you? It's over there. Call her right now so we can be like, you won. She did fucking win. You won that one. So, I mean, that's why Sneeko fucking deserved to get hit in the face, dude. By that giant security guard. Now, here's the deal. We went through all Sneeko's that. Sneeko's out here thinking trans people are going to ruin the world tour, dude. We went through all of that. <laughs> huh? What are your guys' thoughts on this before I show you this meme video that stupid came out Stupid fucking mistakes, dude, man. stupid fucking mistakes. Do you think it really happened? I don't know. Uh, to be honest with you... Yeah, I've been in this industry for four years now, this particular industry, to know that it's probably true. I just think which it's... Which is so fucking sad. I just yeah, think it's so stupid that it happened over whispers. I just don't think... I Do just, you want to know my actual theory? Uh-huh. Do you want to know why I think Twitch isn't saying anything? This is a theory. Twitch reads your fucking whispers, and they don't want you to know that. So that's why they settled and leaked and told everyone not to say Who shit. Who the fuck is out here whispering people? I get whispers a lot. I get whispers a lot. I don't ever answer whispers. I do. One, I got whispers from somebody who was trying to insult me, and I just flirted with them. I bet Twitch reads it and doesn't want anyone to know that, hey, we found out by just reading these guys' yeah. whispers. And like it wasn't reported, but they just saw it. They, were they read his whisper because that's what I'm thinking. That's my speculation. It's a breach of, you know. Yeah, it's breach. Like if they tell people, oh, by the way, we read your fucking whispers. And then Twitch reads the whispers, sees what he's saying, and then essentially goes, oh, shit, this is like a danger, and then catches him. At the time that he got banned, though, um, like there was a lot of people like coming out with like stories. Um, but I'm just thinking that the, the Twitch whisper thing was like a huge thing for me that I was like, wait, every, they, they keep saying like we saw it in whispers clear as day. Well, how? Like, how did you see it? Did, so... That's the one piece yeah, of the story. Not saying that makes somebody sense. screenshotted your whispers. They're saying we saw it in whispers. So that's not a bad. That's not a bad thought. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. That's not bad because I'm thinking like they read it, which is also why you know Twitch isn't saying anything. Also, and also why Mister Mister Disrespect Mister Mister Disrespect. Well, also they want to respect the if there's a minor, they want to respect it because what else yeah. would it be? That's the problem. It's like what else? It could well, be if it's a minor, then Twitch wants to respect it. Yeah, but obviously, Doctor Disrespect doesn't. Yeah, allegedly. So. Um, uh, the, it's just crazy to think that you know if this is true, the man has fucking kids, dude. Like that's like mm -hmm. you're you ever a think sick like fuck. that's like someone's kid. You're a sick fuck. Yeah. If, if it it's is true. true, I heard about it a long time ago. I heard about it at the same time you heard about right. it. So when I heard about it, I was like, that, that, I mean, like in my head, I was like, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I did prod people though. I was like, tell me, tell me, <laughs> tell me what happened. We can't. We can't. Tell uh, me. so Vio. Vio bought our this video. Vio. Our friend Vio bought this video of Doctor Disres for Doctor Disrespect. If it is true, uh, this is the via video. I'm going to play it now. And it's all it's the funniest thing. It's Chris Hansen who's How many likes is it at? Hello. One point seven K. I need more. more. It needs that more. needs more. Mm -hmm. Hold Hansen on. Versus predators that to needs more. That's too funny. And see with Chris Hansen, my streaming crime network, True Blue, all the rest. Now, Doc, I'm gonna need you to have a seat right over there. I've been going through some of the transcripts of your online behavior, and I'm curious as why you're so into Whisper. <laughs> Maybe you should just put it out there for everyone to hype you up. But don't end up in one of my dark kitchens for an interrogation. Do you understand me? In the meantime, I'll be watching. So stay safe, stay healthy, and be careful on Whisper. 
Chris Hansen had no idea he was accidentally potentially outing an actual person that he outs for the show. I feel like Chris Hansen was. Uh, Should book him on Cameo. I feel like Chris. Is he really on Cameo? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I bought Chris him for. Hansen. I bought well, him that, for like another video? person. Yeah. No, I didn't know if that was actually Chris Hansen. It was Chris it Hansen. Yeah. Uh, I bought Cameo. him before. I thought I. I thought I got him for. Uh, I think I got him for Greg. Yeah, I think you did. Yeah, I got Tommy Lauren one time too, which was fucking crazy. She was like in her like bathroom, like, hey, I can't do it. I need in both hands. She did the fucking two hander, but that's, that's the whole story. We'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see. It's probably going to break more during the week. Yeah. Um, I have a feeling that we'll finally know the truth. I hope so. Me you know? too. I hope so. And then I hope, uh, I hope he, uh, I hope he, um, if it's true. Bleep it all. Nah, you can no bleep that one. Okay. No. No. If it's true. Oh, my stomach hurts. If it's true, if he's a breaking news. Breaking I news. Here, I'll do it. Dude, you look like you're gonna sing for Bruno Mars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going out in wilds and miles and miles. At your door, I don't and ever want to knock on your because I know that guy is fucking the past. Okay. Uh, so welcome to the updated, uh, uh, truncated end part of the A Rabs podcast. We had to update this as breaking news emergency since we filmed the podcast on Sunday. Today is Tuesday, and uh, the news has already broke. I had an article came out in Bloomberg that basically says that um, uh, that was verified with three Twitch staff that Dr. Disrespect was indeed, uh, he was indeed let go and banned for sexting a minor. Um, well, wow, did it say, did they say that it was for sexting or was it, it was for talking to a minor? Inappropriate messaging, sex. Inappropriate messaging. I mean, you can but, talk to a minor. You're not going to go to jail for talking to a minor. I mean, this happened. You guys have minor people are minors in my chat. There's minors in my community. There are no have, minors in my community. Oh, really? Yes. Ask your let's chat. Not, let's not. Let's not do that. <laughs> let's not do that. Let's not do that. Uh, no. But I'm saying, obviously, what he did was inappropriate. It wasn't like, uh, hey, yeah. you're my favorite content creator. Thanks, dude. It was. Hey, you're hot. You know, it was, it, uh, it was, we don't know exactly. It was, it was, okay. It, it, yeah, it was, it was inappropriate but messaging. He said he then today, so the Bloomberg, Bloomberg article comes out. And then his also, before that had happened, his game studio had investigated it, found that there was substantiation to the claims, and then basically assessed it and said, you're fired, you're let go. And he, was working with that game studio. He was a partner with that studio. That he was studio, a founder of it. He was a founder, and that game was basically only going to do well if they, it was attached to his name, right? Yeah. The so big shit happened was, today. That happened on Monday. Yeah. Yesterday was the game studio. Mm -hmm. Today. So, yes. The Bloomberg article comes out. The Bloomberg out. article came out, but fuck that. He released a statement on Twitter. He admitted it. Um, so basically he said the Twitch ban. Hello. I'd like to make a quick statement. Let's cut the fucking bullshit. As you know, there's no filter with me, but clearly there obviously is considering he's been silent about his ban for four years, no, no, but that's besides no the point. He'll text anyone he wants to. Yeah. There's no filter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> he said, I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that I can be upfront about. And I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. First and foremost, I do want to apologize and, to everyone in my community, as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studio. Whatever. Then he go. it's like a whole ass fucking essay. A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society and I, and we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. Our team is full of incredibly talented and good people that have high career ambitions and families, and I'd never want to jeopardize the culture we have carefully crafted. Everyone has been wanting to know why I was banned on Twitch, but for reasons outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can now tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. 
So this yeah, he, is when the- so, wait, hold on, Frogan. He was so eager before to tell us his side of the story. Yeah. He was so yeah. fucking eager. Now he's, he, he's been happy. hinting at it for years. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, it's been he, eating at him. Dude, he's been trying to tell the world he's a, for years. Dude. His mustache grew longer by 12 centimeters and nobody even fucking noticed. Dude, I noticed. I'm not gonna lie. Um, his mustache grew a hair for every year that child was aged. Do we know that? Okay, keep going. We're, okay, so this is when he admits to it. He says, "Where the wisp, where the Twitch whispers, where the Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back." We're into- there. Oh, sorry, I got dyslexic there for a second. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. So it's alleged that the minor was 17 years old, and he was 35 at the time in 2017. Yeah, gross. Blech. That's like literally. Also. That's gross. Number one, it was oh, a and, num- and number gross. two, in the, yeah, that's gross. And number two, this is the third edited tweet. <laughs> just to give you guys yeah. a heads up, <laughs> at earlier when he first tweeted this, he had this original message, which had the were, were there Twitch whispers, me- Twitch whisper messages with a, an individual minor back in 2017. Then he edited it to say to to get rid of the minor part, like that was going to help him out at all. And then people called him out and said, dude, you, you idiot. We already saw it, you dumbass. And then he put it back in, which is even so worse. It's he like, literally took the minor out and put individual like, yeah, were there inappropriate messages? Like, bro, it's not. Why would it be inappropriate if you're sexing someone that was consenting, dog? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. So and the best thing about editing tweets is you can see all the fucking version history. So everyone's going to see the included minor aspect of it. So yeah. him redacting it, it was such a stupid fucking thing. But yeah, allegedly Boomer. the minor was 17 and he was 35 at the time. He's 42 now. Mm-hmm. Um, so continuing on with his statement, he said, were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. These okay, were- what is that? Wait, hold on. I want to line by line on this. What does it mean? Were there real intentions? Were you sexting her as a joke? He, 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 ha, ha, ha. I mean, there's it, the ha, next- ha, show me, show me your cooter. Ha, ha. Yeah. The Show next sentence room. explains what he means by that. Okay, go, go, go. 17, tee hee, tee hee. These what are, a fucking sicko. These are casual, mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. I mutually talk to minors all the time <laughs> casually, and sometimes they lean into the inappropriate. What? But nothing more. Yeah. These Dude, were- it, it had to be. It has to be w- way worse than this. Is the best framing he's positioning this, and so this is still bad. <laughs> the story and it's bad. What's the real story? Keep going. So, I'm I'm just so hung up on the sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. What's the line? Just it leans, kind of like my camera angle right now. It's nothing. It leans illegal. like that drink. <laughs> nothing more nothing illegal happened no pictures were shared no crimes were committed i never even met the individual yeah dude saying that there's no crimes committed but then you know having your lawyer type this out for you is insane i don't <laughs> think his lawyer typed it out there's you don't no think his way. lawyer did this no, there's, there's no way not a lawyer typed it out and then told him oops delete minor oops replace minor no no you know his lawyer he, you know he definitely had to get permission i don't you think, think he so. got, you don't think he got permission no, I, dude, that looks like that does not look legally. That just looks like him trying to do like, fuck you. I'm going to fucking just admit to it. Fuck off. Legalese is insane. It's not legalese. It's him saying, were, were there things that were just like a little bit inappropriate? Yeah. Legalese. Um, he, def- he definitely had to know that she was 17 or he. No idea. Regardless, uh, as to- texting a imp- minor inappropriately is a crime. That's no, a crime. It's not a yeah. crime. I mean, like it depends what's the inappropriate. If you're cussing at a minor, it's not a crime. You know, you could you could it, it's weird to communicate with a minor, period. If we are su- under the assumption that he's sexting a minor, yeah, yeah, that's a crime. That's illegal. It's crime. Yeah. yeah. Which is I'm I'm basing it off of the the assumption that he's sexting this minor or and, being inappropriate with this minor in a in a sexual way. He also goes like when Frogan keeps reading the tweet, he also says in this, like, I should have not ever done it. And I'm like, well, does that mean that you knew about it before you started? 
Yeah. Also, dude, I said this the other day. I was saying this on my stream. Uh, a 20 year old to a 35 year old is such a big age gap that like mm -hmm. their 20 year olds are fucking annoying, right? They're like literally the most annoying people. A 17 year old is like a goddamn infant to a 35 year old. Yeah. Meaning that this, that he is double the lifespan of that 17 year old. Anyways, Frogan, keep going. Wait, what? You doubled the lifespan of the 17 year old. You mean that 17 year old is going to live longer now? He's twice their age. Huh? 17 times two? It's technically 34. 30s. Yeah. More than double 38. her age. Wait, or he's, math, he's about double math. Her age. No, 38. Okay, I, I think yeah, I just mean this. It's, it's 34. It's 34. Okay. okay, keep going. Um, 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 um. I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute with Twitch, and that case was resolved by a settlement. Let me be clear. It was not a criminal case against me, and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. Okay, again, that part as well, the district attorney decides if they want to bring charges against you based on their opinion or what they want to do. It doesn't matter if the minor never reported it, if Twitch never reported it, then it would have never been sent to the police and then the DA has to pick up on it. There's a lot of reasons why people don't charge people with crimes. I mean, like there's a lot of reasons. There's a lot of like open Leave that giraffe, sir. Yeah. There's a lot of open, uh, bleeps, uh, out there who are YouTubers who are shamed and canceled, but they're not arrested. I mean, is that, not, you know, I saw a tweet today about like Chris Hansen, like all the people he fucking caught, like a lot of them haven't been charged with anything. Yeah, hundred percent. Because it, it's because the state decides if they're going to charge you. You're, you're not the you're not the plaintiff in those cases. The state is the person who brings the charges. So if they don't want to bring the charges, they're just like, I don't feel like doing that. They're not going to yeah. do it. Next, Anyways, next one. Now, from a moral standpoint, I'll absolutely take responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband, and a father. It should have never that happened. Word, that wording is weird because it's like, I'm an adult. Does that mean he knew she was 17? Because that feels like an admission. That sounds like an admission to me. Yeah. That sounds like she knew she was 17. As an adult? Yeah. That mean, that sounds like an admission. Yeah, as an adult, you, you should have established admission. those boundaries with that 17-year-old you were fucking talking to. Yeah. If this person was of age, why does it matter if you were an adult or not? Bro, if a 17-year-old was like, hey, I'm 17, I'm in your DMs, and then I'm you're hot. I'd be like, I'm going to throw this into a river. Well, we don't know what was said in the, yeah. Dude, do me a favor, Capri. Uh, take no, out your no, XLR. Really the fan base right now is coping so hard. They're like, she came on to him. That's the stupidest fucking camera angle I've ever seen in my life. I like it, dude. It's set up for the OTK stuff. I know. Yeah, I like it. You like well, it? Take out, take out your shirt a little bit, though. <laughs> 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 Now, just imagine someone who looked like this was just messaging a minor. That's insane. Hey, I mean, brother, it would never be Capri because Capri doesn't have a glorious it. mustache. She started it, brother. <laughs> yeah. yeah bro, I can't even say it as a joke. It's so gross. You're a weirdo. Yeah, I know. Dude, I was doing a bit and I'm weird. Um, it should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect and I'll own my I'll fucking own my shit. This was stupid. Congratulations on finally owning your shit. Hey bro, hey, that's on me. It only took me four years and and NDAs and settlements and shutting people up. But I own but and then and then uh and then it coming out publicly through a subtweet and then a bunch of other people uh piling on and then but then I but then and then a Bloomberg article, but then I own that shit. That's on me. And we, I think we said this in the, I think we said it in this episode. Uh, I'm not sure where we're putting this. I'm pretty sure in yeah. the beginning, the, at the end. Whatever yeah, you pretty sure we said it, uh, but Slashers brought it up first and then got <laughs> ridiculed for even putting it up. Here's the thing I was thinking about today. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I, like, I don't, I'm not praising any of these journalists because they sat on this information for so long and none of them were like, well, th that's that. That's I'm talking. Not, that, that's also a different argument. Yeah, I know. None of them were like tied to an NDA. So in my head, I was like thinking about this today. I'm like, all these journalists are being praised now, but they've been sitting on this information for years. 
while Dr. Disrespect continued to make millions and millions and millions of dollars a year while knowing he was a pedophile. I have contention with that. Go ahead. I, I also do. Can I, I was raising my hand though. Oh, yeah, yeah I thank you for letting me talk. I appreciate it. Uh, the journalist's job is to break stories based on witnesses and the witnesses, there was only, from my understanding, there was only about nine to 10 people with direct knowledge. Um, one of them I heard was dead. Um, like so, Boeing dead? Like Boeing dead, yeah. So what has happened is that the journalists uh, need someone to come forward and Cody basically putting his neck out there and doing that prompted the other people to go dude he's gonna get sued because twitch people really fuck with twitch they like that bleed purple like the the staff they're all like going like we have to like break this story because now cody put his neck out there we're all gonna go help him so the journalist then got people to come on the record but they're still silent i mean these individuals did not come forward publicly this was privately so they're worried about twitch suing them so what ends up happening is that bloomberg can confirm the sources that they worked there. They had that Bloomberg did the full confirmation. The reason why the Bloomberg article is so important is because Bloomberg is a real journalistic paper. Okay. I don't know if that made any sense, but they're going to actually confirm their sources. They're going to do all the work. So these people may have sat on this story, but means that they were working on the story, but they were probably begging people to come forward because this is the biggest slasher's re uh, reputation was ruined for four years. He wanted someone to come forward. No one came forward. And when Cody basically stuck his neck out there, then everyone goes, oh, yep. You know, because look how many staff were like, you know, so it was, it's, it's kind of big on Cody. The, the douchey things that Cody did were gross. Yeah. But it's big on Cody for just being like, fuck it, I'm, I had enough. Can I ask a dumb question before you yeah. ask? So with this publication, does that offer any legal protections to the people speaking out? That's what, yeah. So Bloomberg will tell them, if you come forward and talk to us, we'll cover your legal costs and we'll we'll back you up. Okay. So even Slasher, my understanding, was essentially looking for someone to not like protect him from getting sued because let's say it didn't fully come to light. Twitch would sue the shit out of everyone and nobody would really know if it was true or not. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Twitch would kind of look good on this to be like, no one would care that Twitch is suing people six months from now or a year from now. They'd, be, they'd yeah. forget about it. But if it does come to light that, that there was there was a blankophile and Twitch then goes and sues people to shut that information down, it's an awful lo lawsuit for Twitch now because now everyone's going, dude, you're literally suing your employees to protect a fucking PP, you know, in your midst. So everyone was kind of waiting for someone to say something. And then once someone said something, all the old Twitch employees, I saw so many ex staff were like, He's not lying. Okay, you know? that makes sense. Yeah, because so, I was just like, in my head, I was just like, when people sat on it for, I'm echoing. When, you're echoing? From you, yeah. People sat oh, on it sorry. for so long, and I was just like, it, I was like thinking about it a lot today. I was like, it kind of gave me the icky. But I guess knowing that they didn't have that legal protection makes sense now. But the other thing I'm thinking about is why four years later? Like, we discussed this in the pod on Sunday when we re recorded, but four years to the date he got banned. Why now? There's there's two things. One of them, I was doing some research today because nobody can seem to know why, but Slasher said that Cody just had enough one day walking his dog and did it. But I was Googling, and I don't know if it's true. I, I haven't done my, I hadn't finished Googling before the pod, that the NDA laws in California changed for sexual misconduct for employees in May of this year. Uh, I don't know if that's 100% true. Okay, this is not confirmed. I just found information that NDA laws in California for sexual misconduct for employees are not legal under the STAND Act. So I do not know if that is true or not. Again, I have no idea. I was just doing some research because I was looking for that answer too. Why randomly? Why randomly in the middle of the night... Uh, through a subtweet, did he do that? It, it's beyond me. Um, the second thing is, uh, there were people that sat on the story. I had heard rumors for two years, but what am I going to do? Tweet it? I mean, it's echoing really bad. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. I see. I don't think you, like, knowing, I feel like the people that had, like, if anybody had an obligation to talk about it, 
it would have had to been like people directly at Twitch that knew, you know, or like people that had like an actual good source. Because for me, it was like, oh, he, like he said, she said, the, they said, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You know, it was like a game of telephone at that point. And everything I heard was rumors. I, I'd never heard anything from someone who was like an actual leaker from the source, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Oh, trying to find chat. Anyways, Raph, sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off the whole time. No, I mean, you said everything I wanted to say. The, what it comes down to is that, you know, these people, we also don't know what the situation internally is. We, if it's NDA based, they're legally obligated not to say anything. Otherwise, they do get sued. I mean, we've had, I think we said it in the pod, like it seemed like Twitch kind of came in with lawyers, but nobody knew what the reason was. Um, and then it kind of leaked out throughout the four years that this is kind of what happened. You know, we don't know what went on. And then there's also journalistic integrity as well for these journalists. You know, they can't just go and say, hey, yeah, this is what happened. You yeah. know, it, it's not Dexterdo. It's not fucking like these fake news articles and stuff like that who just grab stories and put them on the Internet willy nilly. These are actual news sources. And if, you, if somebody says something and it's wrong and it's proven wrong, then they lose all journalistic integrity if they right. don't write a redact- redaction. And if that particular story ruins somebody else's life, if this wasn't true at all. So, I mean, it's hard to blame journalists for not for sitting on a story when they, they don't have all the facts. Yeah. And it's just like what Capri was saying, you know, Bloomberg probably, we don't know what was going on in Bloomberg really, realistically, but they were doing their research. They were trying to figure it out. And, you know, if they were offering people to come forward and trying to get people to come forward, but nobody would, then it's kind of like, well, we can't release this story. Mm-hmm. And then especially, you know, you have to think about the child who's involved as well. If you release a story, then, you know, the first thing that people want to know is who's the child. Yeah. Like, who is this person? Where's the proof? Where's the mm-hmm. proof? Where's the proof is the biggest thing. So you don't, for, for story, especially when it results in um, a P, P, PDF filing, you know, you, you want it, it, to, it's very, it's very sticky. Yeah. Otherwise, you start ruining the integrity of yourself. And then you also start potentially putting that child in danger. Yeah. And that's a big thing. Yeah, that, that was the sense. thing that did the good stuff is that they were worried about the, the child the whole time. That was the good thing. Like, you know, not to knock Twitch, uh, like for everything, because what they did was gross. But at the same time, I bet that the child's parents were like, hey, I don't want to be ousted. You know, mm-hmm. I don't like the, 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 it's probably embarrassing. The text messages are probably gross for the child looking back because this happened in 2017, which he acknowledged. It wasn't reported until 2020. And we think it was either reported by him or the child. And I don't think it was reported by him. It was definitely not reported by him. Yeah. So, and then, you know, there was also the, the idea that, you know, since Whispers was a new program, they were reading the Whispers to kind of see how it was working and going through analytics of it. Yeah. Um, and it came out that way. But, you know, we don't, we don't know. Sorry about that. But thinking about this, Slasher still hasn't made a story about it anyways. Wait, are we back? Well, Slash, Slasher, yeah, we're back. Slasher helped write that article. Yeah. The Bloomberg? Slasher, I believe Slasher. Are you sure? And that, that individual that wrote the article, Bloomberg. Did Slasher did write go- it? I want confirmation. Huh? What? She wants confirmation. Did he write it? Or is it just no, believe? I, believe? So my understanding is that Welcome back, everybody. Slasher and that individual were competing to write the article before the other. And then I think they just merged because Slasher was was trying to work with Bloomberg to get the article out. So I think that it's I think the that person, I think the reporting was done by Slasher and the article was written by that individual. Because Slasher tweeted it and then said, I'm vindicated. Because it ruined Slash's career. Cecilia wrote it. Yeah, Cecilia wrote it, but I think the reporting was done by Slasher. And Cecilia. It would have said his name too, but it just says Cecilia. Okay, but look at Slasher's tweet about it. That's just Twitter though. No, but I think Slash, like I know for a fact Slasher was and Cecilia were talking and then exchanging notes. Um, what else? Okay. Um, 
So we're just going to assume that it's Cecilia wrote it and yeah. Slasher uh, yeah. broke it in the beginning wrote. and wasn't believed. If anyone knows the answer to that? He didn't even say anything. That he's just like, I know a doctor disrespected. It was very bad, but I can't say anything. And then has has not touched his hands. He just said, "Look, like it's a famous meme tweet." Yeah. So the next part of the statement. Now, with all this said, don't get it. Don't get it fucking mistaken. I've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely. Social media is a destruction zone. I'm no fucking predator. Or pe- Are you kidding me? Anyone that truly knows me fucking knows where I stand on those things with those types of people. Fuck okay, well, that. you know, well, there's several people who who know you, truly know you. Uh, Tim the Tap Man, Nick Merckx, who you hang out with and work with personally on a daily basis. Uh, I think if anybody knows you personally, it would be those two, and they've both pretty much. Well, not Nick Marks. I'm not gonna fucking Nick Marks didn't do shit. Tim the Tap Man definitely was like, "Nah, this is gross. I'm not doing. I'm not dealing with that." Yeah, Tim, Tim the Tap Man and Ninja had really good statements to be like, "This is fucked up." Yeah, like Ninja so if they if they, if they're not rocking with you, even at this point, then they, I'm gonna assume that maybe there's some truth to that as well. Nick Marks didn't do anything but go like, "It's a little weird." But to do a character thing like, oh, uh, just to let you know, I'm not a, I, I, yeah, I did commit the crime of child endangerment, but I am no child endangerer. It's like, no, but you, you, you did do that, dog. That's like saying, yeah. I did it, but I'm, I'm like, don't put that label on me. I don't want that label on. Right. That type of bitch that fucking is like, hey, we are together, but I don't want any labels. You know, don't change my Facebook status. Okay, I don't want labels, but we, you know, but you do live at my house. We are married, but I don't want to put a label on it. Fucking dumbass, long haired ass bitch. Busted ass. <laughs> All right, Frogan. What else, what else did he say? Um, I'm about to... He's about to bust. Ew, you freak. I, 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 I do. My stomach hurts. All right, dude, just be patient. Pretend we're recording. Put your phone down do and pay attention. He would do this while we're recording too. Don't scream at him. I'm not screaming. I can fucking show you screaming. Oh, really? You can show me screaming? Yeah, I can show you screaming, bitch. Okay, so then calm down. Why are you screaming right now? No, because you got me riled up. What's you screaming? You got on? me riled up. See? <laughs> See? There's a reason why you don't record at home, and it's because I can record all of your conversations. Yeah. My ass and is I poopy, but I clean it. All right. What's the rest of this thing say? Um, Hold on. Let me find my don't spot. Look. Don't look, babe. Don't look, babe. Don't look. Um, <laughs> He said, anyone that truly knows me fucking knows where I stand on those things with those types of people. Fuck that. That's a different level of disgust that I fucking hate even hearing about. Don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Bro, bro, <laughs> there's no way that you didn't you didn't do worse shit if you're already be like, bro, don't fucking label me a. a, a don't That's okay. Label, We're just gonna believe it. You can say it. Don't label me a fucking PDF file, okay? Yeah, I may have talked to minors. I may have sex with them after they told me they were 17 years old. But don't put that label on me. <laughs> but like, I think I did it. But I don't want to be told that I did it. Yeah. Did I do it? Yes. <laughs> but I think that I've said what I needed to say regarding the ban itself. That's it. That's why Twitch made the decision in 2020. And it goes on even more. To my team, community, industry friends that have supported me, I apologize. I wish I could have said all this sooner. You guys have always showed me and my family love and support throughout all these years. We love you guys like you can't imagine. I have the fucking best community in circle. If any of this has made you uncomfortable, I get it. You don't have to support me anymore, but just know that you've always been greatly appreciated. Here's, before we get to the next part, I just want to say, like, if I was going through a situation like that, I would definitely tell you guys, you know, yeah. if, if you, you did, if yeah. you, if you messaged the minor and diddled them and you would tell us. No, like if I was getting like sued for it. <laughs> if I was like, like, dude, imagine, I, imagine if I get banned on Twitch. It's a big mass secret. Obviously, your closest friends are going to be like, yo, what, what the fuck? Why were you banned? 
I mean, I would know. I'd pry that shit out of you. Then I'd be like, all right. Then I would look at Rafa. I'd be like, we cannot talk to this fucking bitch anymore, dude. She's a PDF file. No, I'm not even looking at the shit. Like, like let's say it's something like bad. I don't know. I can't even think of anything. It's pretty bad. There is a, there is a clip of Nick Merckx in Nick Merckx's favor from two years ago that says, I know everything about him and I and he will not tell me what happened there. Yeah. Mm. Okay. That's crazy. I just found it today during the stream. Do you think his wife knows? She knows yeah. now. She knows now. Are we gonna see a doctor disrespect divorce on the horizon? Um if she has any respect for herself, yes. But I don't know, dude. He has a lot of money. Fucking nose, dog. <laughs> this is where it gets good. Are you, are that's something. I don't think that's something you can really hide from your. I'm mean, sure. You, I'm I, sure. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not, not going to speculate whether or not he hid it from his wife or not. Yeah, like let's not let's not blame her. I'm she not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. All right. Also, I think it's kind of weird that. He's like, thanks to everybody for supporting me. Like, that's such a weird thing to say after being accused of this. About it, but he never apologized to the fucking victim. He apologized to his community and yeah. the people that are reading this tweet. But he could give a fuck about a seventeen-year-old child that he was sexting at thirty-five years old. Yeah, he was my age sexting a baby. Yeah, it's it's just it's just disgusting. I barely can sex Raph and feel comfortable. Did you get my whisper, buddy? Yeah, I did. You didn't respond after I asked if you were 14. Let me respond. <laughs> I DM'd a, a person on... I whispered a person yesterday, and they threatened to report me. So, that was me. Yeah. I said, hey, are you Don't 12? Don't whisper me. <laughs> I just got a whisper from Scooters that says, I want to drain you like a Capri Sun sucking Ew. dry. <laughs> but trust me when I say this to all my haters that live in breath he didn't say breathe he put breath social media oh he didn't even edit the fucking typo he edited taking <laughs> a minor <laughs> he didn't fucking edit the fucking typo that says breath he just left it in there yeah to all, but trust me That's when I so say stupid. this to all my haters that live in breath to social media with zero real life experience I don't give a fuck about you okay finally if you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think I'm a piece of shit that's fine but I'm not fucking going anywhere I'm in not the real world <laughs> we tech kids <laughs> this is the real world <laughs> yeah, get used to it all your friends are texting kids too <laughs> ask anybody in a five mile radius if they're texting a kid you know damn well they are Yo, gets, Froga, you text kids <laughs> no it gets better I'm not the same guy that made this mistake all those years ago oh, he was 35 <laughs> <laughs> when I'm 21 I could be like yeah man that was a bad like if you're 21 texting a 17 year old I'd be like yo there's uh, Romeo and Juliet laws I get it not too bad like you're still a kid it feels like you're you not think a kid okay. at 21 you're fucking grown I, 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 nah, I, you're a kid. I'm a kid. I'm 29. There's Romeo and Juliet laws, okay? 35. 35. Insane. Okay, keep going. I'm taking an extended vacation with my family, as mentioned on stream, and I'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders. They want me to disappear? Yeah, fucking right. <laughs> so... Yeah, he did it. We he, called it. We called it. I we called played it. around with the allegations earlier this episode. He did it. We were right. What our if, sources were correct. Yeah, our sources were fucking great. Gabri heard it two years ago. I heard it two years I'm going to see. Hold the Bless you. I, I heard about it two years ago. Your mom heard about it two years ago. And she knows. I told my mom about it. She said, who is Dr. This is, can I be honest with you? Yeah. It's kind of anticlimactic. I wish the FBI would bust in on him. I mean, but people are saying more shit's going to come out, though. I think someone, the, well, you know, I think that 
And I know what I, I've, I've heard of allegedly what it is. Remember when his house got shot up? What? Yeah, his house got shot up while he was live. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. That's crazy. Don't laugh at that. He has kids at home. That's insane that you're laughing at this right I now. Wonder, there's more stuff that's going to come out for sure. I know I know more stuff. I've heard more stuff, but this that that's also victim like but I don't know if that's true. I just thought of something. How is this motherfucker going to be like, but trust me when I say this to all my haters that live in breath social media with zero life experience. I don't give a fuck about you. You were literally fucking with somebody through whispers on Twitch. Yeah, bro. You were utilizing a whisper for the whisper feature on Twitch to fucking talk to a minor. Yeah, bro. Did his house actually get shot up? Or are you fucking with me? Oh, he did. And it got shot up around the exact same time he was whispering a minor. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's kind of funny. God hates him. It's not funny. <laughs> he had a baby at the time. It wasn't it's funny. Not a funny. It's not funny. Baby. But it's Rogan's, kind of, Rogan's just laughing. She's not. I, 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 you know, with all the respect, I hope nothing happened to him, and I hope he was safe. But I hope he slept like shit for the for like a couple months after that. I'm so glad I didn't graze his nice full mustache. No, dude, his house getting shot up is fucked up. Uh, but what I'm saying is that like nobody, no one needs to go shoot up a house. That's that's insane. But what I'm saying is that it was around the same time of the allegations. So like. I'm wondering if it's tied to this at all. That's just speculation on my end. Uh, tri- Twitch reading your whispers. They do not read your whispers. I got it confirmed. Uh, they have a scrubber that will look for uh, keywords. But the way that this came out was that someone reported the DMs, likely the victim. And then they went and read those DMs. But they don't just read your DMs. Unless staff is bored. And then they may just fuck with your DMs. Because they can't. And that's on every website. I took my fucking thing down that I tweeted yesterday because I got bullied out of it. Everyone's like, of course they could read your whispers. I was like, that's not what I'm saying, dog. What I mean is that they just like were perusing through his whispers. But I deleted it because I got bullied by the internet and all my friends were wrong. Idiots. I did read a oh thing. Boy. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm laughing at Capri. I did read a thing. There's like a, a quote unquote leaked email going around about how it was confirmed fake by Slasher about how they're like, yeah, they just want to bring Dr. Disrespect down. They're looking for any fucking reason to get him banned off Twitch. So they use these whispers. Can I be honest? Yeah. We have, we have gotten to, I think this is good for the pod, by the way, but we have gotten to a point in our society where society is broken down so much that people are so in these like mini cults of personality they're basically cults where they are willing to do anything to protect their cult leader uh, including justify pdf files Mm -hmm. and they will justify him doing nearly anything before they leave his side it is actually a disturbing part of american society i think it's gross i think it's gonna only get worse i saw it with the rise of trump i'm now seeing it with the rise of these fucking idiot creators and people on the internet. I mean, there are literal verified PDF files on the internet. The issue is the entire community could be literal PDF files because there's probably 50,000 in America and he gets 25,000 a month. And they're all like, oh yeah, he's just like me. I am a PDF file. He's a PDF file. You know, I want to watch him. So, you know, for the vast majority of, you know, adults. (laughs) I don't think there's a PDF. I don't think there's a PDF conglomerate. Bro, <laughs> where they're all like gathering together and having conventions That's and shit. That's what the dark web is for, Raffi. Huh? That's what the dark web is for? Uh, yeah, the dark web is for that, number one. Number two, ask Jeffrey Epstein, dog. The PDF conglomerate was at the fucking uh, height of the industry. He had a PDF island. If you were given a million dollars, would you go to Epstein Island? Yes. No. I would go now if it was empty and I'd have to survive 24 hours and do like a YouTube video. I'd go for a million dollars just to go to the island. I don't have to do anything. I'm just going to go. You'd be sold into slavery. Dude, uh, fucking Robert Kennedy went and was like, I, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on that list for the flight logs, but like, that's, that's it. But the fuck is Robert Kennedy? There. 
I would have gone to the island. Isn't it? Isn't our? Is isn't Robert <laughs> Kennedy uh, running for? Yeah, RFK. president. RFK. Yeah. You holding your mic is creating noise in my ear. Mr. Pop Star. Put your fucking hands up. All right. Is there anything else we need to say about this? That's it, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. How about we do this with our hands and then she'll do a swipe feature back to the main episode. Okay, everybody. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Frogan, you went the wrong way. You went the wrong way. No, no, no. Me and Raph went the right way. No, you did it. I'm pretty sure. You do it the other way, Capri. Why don't we do it from top to bottom? Okay, ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. You guys suck. Can I tell you guys what happened to me what? last night? I was farting the whole <laughs> night on our way home. That's <laughs> scootish. Was he crap dusting you? Was he even concerned? How bad was it? He was gassing you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, did you not I just roll saw the a windows documentary down? about I that? Did. I just saw a documentary about that. There's a dude, there's a documentary on Netflix right now. It's called uh, Say That I Love You or whatever. It's about, um, it's about TC, which I, I'm forgetting what the name of it is, but it's a way of communication for nonverbal people where they have a guide, essentially somebody who's like picking up their arm and they're teaching them how to use this keyboard, how to communicate, right? Like very like Stephen Hawking style, but without an automated voice, it's just they're tapping on a piece of paper yeah. or a keyboard and the person next to them is like their speaker, right? So I watched this whole documentary about this woman who was involved in that teaching process. And there was this man named Derek who had uh, cerebral palsy since birth, or I believe a, a little bit later, but okay. he got cerebral palsy and he's nonverbal. He had no communication. He, you know, communicated by hitting things or like, you know, moving around and stuff like that. And his parents heard about this program. So that he brought, they brought, they brought the kid into that program. She works with him. And then the, you were watching this documentary. Like this guy like had is incredible. Like he has like very deep thoughts. He has, he's very poetic. He's very thoughtful. He has, he, ha he has a lot to say. And then the his like I will call it translator his translator falls in love with him oh, and shit. they like have a sexual relationship and but then, he can't consent right technically no but Is also technically yes and that was what the whole case was about oh. I do have a question huh so is is he actively typing it himself out? So this or? is how it would be. It would be like you typing on a keyboard. They would okay. be hiding, holding it like that. Like this. So he's so actually can, doing the typing. Yeah. Or like, but the problem with the case, it, the problem with the case and why she did get convicted of, uh, well, uh, uh, graping, you know, was that it, it's, they brought an expert in to analyze him. And they, he was like, dude, this guy he's he's not developed you know what i mean like he's mm. definitely not based off of that expert's testimony when over. they interviewed him and so she like was like no they de he definitely did he was in love with me he like oh so she like this fucking so do you think this. she so, made him type but that's out. how the documentary ends you don't fucking really Ooh. know she got convicted she went to she got sentenced to prison and but she was never, in prison you never know but you never know you never know but i don't want to watch that no, dude, it's I'm not saying you have to watch it, but it was a, it was interesting. I that I I saw something like that I wanted to watch along those lines, but it fucked me up like when I saw it was the contestant. Have yeah. You, have you seen that? No, what's that one? That's the oh, one. Oh, is that they, the one where they he he goes they, on a game show and then they undress him, he's naked and they put him in a room and they televise it to the entire of Japan. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Have the, you heard the, about in, this in program? Japan, right? In Japan, but he right? doesn't know he's on a TV show, and his dick is just out. Yeah, yeah. He and all know he's of Japan, and he has mm -hmm. to live in the room for seven months. He, he. I think he did it for. I think it was almost a year, right? Yeah. He was. He, the whole point to, is he has to win a sweepstakes, mm -hmm. to, and he has to make a million yen in sweepstakes money. And, and he has he's to like fill doing it out like with paper shit. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. He's doing this on magazines and stuff like that. But like he doesn't know. It. He thinks that oh, they're recording him. Yeah, but they're gonna you know cut it together and put it to, as a TV show. He doesn't know that, oh, 
it's live right now. It's like now. the Truman Show. It's it was live. the Truman Show. And it was the like, Truman Show. At the end, they like introduce him where he goes out and he's naked in front of thousands of people in a stadium and they're yeah. all like cheering him on. But what's crazy about this is that he did it, right? He finished the first challenge yeah. in one in about almost a year, right? Instead of letting him go, they put him into another room. And he was supposed to be let go. But they took him, put him to another room and made him do it all over again. That's crazy. Dude, it's I didn't get to yeah. I didn't get to finish it, but I started watching it. Was it. I was good. like, this is the most fucked up he thing goes, I've ever seen. Do you want me do you want me to ruin it for you? Yeah, you could ruin it for me. He, d- he goes on, he finishes that show. He goes on to like work um as, for help in the in the ever the Fiji Mountains or Everest Mount not Everest, yeah. but in the mountains. Um for hikers and for people Fiji. who are Fiji. For people who want to climb the top of Fiji, he Fuji, does it's Fuji. Fuji. Is it Fuji? It's Fuji. Fiji is a different place. My bad. Fuji. Then. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Am I? Is it Fuji? Is it Fuji though? I yes. think it is Fuji. Mount Fuji. I'm sorry. I apologize. Scooty? What's the name of the Fuji. biggest mountain in right? Japan? Mount Fuji. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he's a, he works at Mount Fuji. The answer I found is Mount Fuji. Yeah. Ugh. So there you go. Mount Fuji. My bad. Fiji is Fiji's the, the, water. the water. Sorry. Yeah, you're an idiot. Yeah, I know. My bad. Okay, keep going. Oops. But that's what he does with his life. He he works as a as a helper for all of that, and that's he does sick. a lot of charity. And he's stuff. like a sherpa, and he wins. He's a bunch of money, so he just all he does. He's like a sherpa, yeah. Okay, that's, that's fun. Dope. That's dope. Yeah. So, anyways, that so that's why I thought about the nonverbal when Scoot said nonverbal. Maybe think about the documentary. Well, yeah, I did. I was I was so my stomach was killing me yesterday, and then I realized that I ate a whole pack of sugar free gum. Mm-hmm. Did you swallow it? No, but like I ate a whole pack of sugar free gum, like the ten dollar pack. The way Capri eats gum, he'll chew it, then spit it out. Chew it, spit it yeah, out. Yeah, he chews it till it loses his flavor. Do you know what? Yes. Do you know why I do that? Because you're an addict. Uh, with gum or what? Nicotine. Yeah. It's from smoking. It's a smoking habit. People will get so mad, they're like, Why do you do that? I'm like, I was a smoker for ten years. What the fuck do you think? Yeah. I'm like, I chew the gum because I have that like it, because I used to smoke mint. So if you're smoking like mint stuff. It's like that flavor, and I get that like hit, and then I spit it out, and then I keep doing it. It's like chain smoking. Yeah, but I'm not. It's better than smoking. I just shit my pants. I don't know, dude. I like smoking. Me too. I love smoking. You want to smoke hookah after this? No. Okay. Cool. No. We're definitely going to our favorite place. What uh, else has been going on this week? We are at an hour. Yeah. yeah. An hour fourteen. Yeah. So we can do the rest on the Patreon and talk sure. about the other breaking Let's news. Let's do that. Let's do that. I mean, there's nothing. Nothing's gonna really ruin the world tour like Patreon will. World tour. Check it out on Patreon. Oh, also we have some other spicy things to talk about on Patreon. We're like gonna what? talk about my titties on Patreon. We're talking about. Wait, we're talking about Frogan's titties on Patreon. Mm-hmm. We're also talking about the. I think we're talking about a little bit about the guy who uh, broke up with his girlfriend to play league. Oh yeah. We're gonna talk about Justin Timberlake. Yeah. There's some big topics on Patreon this week because the Dr. Disrespect topic pushed everything out into yeah. the ether. That's true. And we're going to talk about, uh, I got into a, a streamer thing and it's weird, you know, OTK <laughs> because I fought with the people and I don't know if I should keep doing yeah, it. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to we'll talk about that all the all of that. Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys. I'm the little guy. You're the little guy with the crazy hair. Anyways, for thank you for reason, being a bad <laughs> what? I just want to tell you guys for some reason when I put my phone down, it started the monster effect. <laughs> How long did it really? How long is it? No. It's gone now. It's not on. When did you put your phone down? I just did. Oh. It just happened. Oh, then we're good. Yeah. Oh, then we're good. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> But you're going to get a monster effect from us. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for being an A-Grab. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. How do we end this? Sh- how, do, how do we end it? Hey, we end this the same way we've always ended it. With Frogan no. saying her famous slurs. Cracker. <laughs> Great. Thank you, guys. All right. uh, like, subscribe. If you made it to the end, the best thing that I, I want you to do. Last week, everyone tweeted or commented, I made it to the end. I'm not a grifter. This week, if you make it to the end, you're going to comment. I made it to the end. I'm not no. Yes. No. No. No, no. 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 Not that one. Not that one at all. Okay. I made it to the end. I'm a mustache rider. That's actually good. That's a good one. That's good. That raps is really. You guys bad. can check us out on Spotify as well. Anywhere you can listen to podcasts. Make sure you tell your friends about us. Okay. Yeah. Also, yeah. If you send one person to us and then they send three people, we win. Yeah. Pyramid yeah. scheme. All right. Bye. I'll see you on the Patreon. Bye. Do you have a measuring hit? I fucking forgot it. Raph. I'm not measuring the mass of my tits. Let me cup it. Get over here.